Welcome to the Old School RuneScape Podcast. I am Mitt Mad Cow. What's and going on, boys? Rakes as always. Oh wait, I'm so I'm, I'm like second on the webcam, so I was like thinking I'm going second or Fuck something. And it, hello, it's Rice Cup. Oh my god, <laughs> go on. We never used this overlay. This is new. <laughs> this is a new overlay. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, listen. Today we've got a really exciting podcast. We're going to be talking about all of the new skills. They've just pitched three new skills. And we are joined today, the none other than Flomple. And before we introduce him, I just want to say, this man, I messaged him like an hour ago and asked if he could come onto the podcast super last minute. Like, you don't even understand how last minute this is. This dude asked his boss if he could leave work four hours early so that he could join us. Okay? So a big round of applause for this man, dude. Everybody, please check out his links down in the description. Go to his Twitch channel, all of that good stuff. How are you doing, Flumple? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, hopefully, I didn't forfeit my full-time salary position at my job <laughs> for this podcast. But, I mean, with enough uh, with enough likes on this video, it's, anything's worth it. You know, it's all for the likes, right? So, mm-hmm. Are we talking about likes, dude? I think my ears just perked up real quick. The last video, 800 likes with Solo Mission and Reese, and that was insane i think rice already gave away some bonds i need to give away 10 scepters and i think we all agreed that if you check the community post on this channel that's where you'll go to find those giveaways maybe in the future we'll streamline it because it seems like it's working so if we can hit 500 likes in this video i'll give away another 10 scepters i think uh we got some bonds coming our way as well oh yeah i want to say i'm down i'm down to throw down five again you know so. But I, I want to say, though, real quick, if we hit a thousand likes in the first five days, I'll give away 50 scepters, dude. I was going to do 100, <laughs> but you guys got close last time. It actually scared me. But <laughs> on the first five days, dude, five or a thousand likes, 50 scepters, community oh pose. Dude, I've, just checked, I've just checked the price of my accursed scepter in game. It's 2.7 mil, and that's with the Vetion skull. It's so thing. bad, bro, but Damn, I got dude. all of them still. I have 450 Damn. left. So you, you know clean I made, me up. You know, when oh, I made God. the video about the Accursed Scepter, it went to 6 mil, but I guess it went... Like, <laughs> oh. oh, dude. Oh, oh also, uh, about the giveaway, we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Put it out as soon as the video's out. So when, when you watch it, it should be there. So just put your name down. That's how I did it last time. Put your name down. I- uh, I think what I'm gonna do and, is uh, I'm gonna give out a world and just say if you trade me in like Edgeville, the first five or six oh, people, yeah, are gonna his like a rules. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'll do, and then we'll streamline it in the future if you guys enjoy us giving back to you guys while we talk about awesome RuneScape content, like the new skills, new everything coming out. I think it'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, dude. All right, so how are we gonna do this video? Um, this this one's a bit different, right? So we're gonna play the official. Introduction to their the Jagasys three uh, skill proposals, uh, just because a lot of you guys probably don't know anything about it, so it's good that everyone just gets the basic information. Uh, I mean, uh, basic information from the official source, and we're gonna pause at certain times and chip in on you know uh, what what we think about it and any insights and stuff. So that's how we're gonna do it for for this podcast. So hopefully it works out. You know, it's Rixie's idea, and I thought you know it sounded like a good idea. So. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Dude, they're they're always golden. Let's get to it. (laughs) Okay, all right. We're going to start the video and uh, start commentating soon after. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Today, we're going to take you through three (laughs) completely different skill pitches. Three skills. Hey, I'm Modelena, and I'm here to tell you about a pitch that every player who loves animals has been waiting for. Have you ever wandered around Gilinor and looked at a strong bear or a cunning wolf and wished it could help you on your adventures? Or perhaps you've simply wanted to care for a cuddly little chinchompa instead of using it as an explosive projectile to destroy your enemies. It's well, dark. <laughs> maybe now you yeah. can do just that. So settle down, grab a blanket, and listen to our most wholesome skill pitch yet. Taming. Taming is a utility skill all about discovering new and existing creatures around the world and taming them into friendly companions. If you earn their trust and take care of them, in return, they'll aid you on your adventures. You can utilize their unique abilities to interact with the world in entirely new ways and deepen your bond with your animal companions by training and leveling them up to make their abilities even stronger. Let's pause it real quick. 
Okay, what you got? Just, just because, like, first off, copyright <laughs> law. I don't know if we can just sit here and watch a whole video without pausing it, no matter what. <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah, of we course we gonna, can, we're, dude. We're, what do you mean? No, <laughs> no, just for Jagex, baby. Jagex wouldn't sue but, us, right? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, well, only if we say bad things, you know? We yeah, probably we will. We might. Yeah. Well, from from taming aspect of it, I I feel like just seeing what we're seeing now, it does sound really cool. I think people are obviously keen towards it as the Pokemon of RuneScape. Yeah, true. Uh, it it is it is kind of a cool skill set to start off with. Yeah, no, I feel like uh, it right away. Everyone got vibes of summoning from it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, is this just like so far? We don't know if this is summoning or not like that. We don't have enough details as the video progresses. You find out what you know, what's the difference. But yeah, definitely it gives it gives off summoning vibes, which a lot of people really liked. And then a lot of people who played back in RuneScape 2 era know that summoning was part of the downfall of that game of just power creep and everything. So <laughs> one of the stair steps to downfall. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, no. a domino piece. Um, but there was a good point that someone someone raised that I saw was like, you know, summoning and dungeoneering and all these other updates, that was not what ended RuneScape. It was just the, the evolution combat, of combat. That was like that was it, right? So if yep. this is done properly, I still feel like, yeah, it absolutely could be a lot of fun, uh, you know, bringing companions. The only thing, you know, we already have pets in RuneScape, so I'm I'm definitely interested in figuring out how they handle that sort of situation. <laughs> Can you train up your King Black Dragon pet, for example? Yeah, yeah, what if the pet hunters were just one step ahead of us the whole time? Like, mm. we thought they were just doing useless activities. In reality, they have the most stacked account of all time now. And we yeah. just never knew. Okay. All right, let's continue the video then. Before That's I the comment. elephant in the room. This is not summoning. For those of you who remember the skill in RuneScape, the similarities only go as far as having a companion which can aid you with various different types of content across the game. While Summoning's gameplay loop behaved like a mix of rune crafting and Slayer, and required players to collect charms, Taming will instead bring the long-term bond between you and your companions to the forefront with an involved Taming process. Taming will require study and knowledge of creatures and their behaviors, provide an in-depth animal care and well-being system. So like, how do you train it? Do you give them belly rubs for like an hour yep. straight? You know? Yeah, yeah. it's a Pokemon Go thing where you just rub your Pokemon a lot, it makes it happy. <laughs> okay, the, the, there was one part that she says there, she's like, okay, this is not summoning. You know, the only similarity between this and summoning <laughs> is that you have an animal following you. And I'm like, what do you mean that's the only similarity? That is the, that's the biggest similarity. Yeah, that's like right? 50%. Right there. Yeah. yeah. It's like an animal oh, yeah. that helps you do everything in the game just like summoning. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> well, the, the difference to me is, is how you train it and then you know the reward. So they're they're talking about these creatures that instead of them being a summoning pouch that you summon it and it lasts for 15 minutes, it's like it's that's your permanent pet. Like you have it forever. So to me though, it's just yeah, it's summoning but trained differently and the, the pets actually lots last of belly longer. rubs, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, one thing that's catching me off guard too is like, <laughs> are we going to get more bank space? Like, what if we have to have one of each of every summoning animal? Like, I don't have that much space already. I'm, Yo, spend, love to spend money on, on bank I space. I did. I'm <laughs> poor, bro. I got my and scepters. Drop, I bought as much as I could. drop those accursed scepters, dude. They're taking up one slot. <laughs> one slot too many. I told, <laughs> before you make the video, I told everyone if these scepters don't work, I'm not going to dump them on you. I'm just going to give them away and start from scratch. And I guess nah. that's what we're doing on this channel is we're just going to toss these and I'm going to start from scratch. I don't care if I get. Yeah. All right. We go. That's oh. a good point. I think they do need to add more bank space with whatever skill comes. Yeah. yeah I. I mean, like you could buy like the first five pretty cheap. The first add five, six, six. Slots, right, first you could. One bill. No, like the first like six slots is like fifty mil or less, and then the last right. four. You got them all, like, don't you? No, no, yeah, I the didn't. Last the last four is ridiculous. It's like five hundred mil or something. You know, no, I'm good. It's not worth it. Okay. And even the capability to level up your companion as you help teach them new abilities. Each and every creature will be unique, from the abilities it possesses, to the food it likes, or even the type of environment it wants to live and work in. Each creature has its own... Oh, that's a good question, like, you know? Yep. There, I guess a lot of resources that... that suck ass, bro. Like, a lot of I resources... my cat. My RuneScape mm -hmm. cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, what, what about all the trash, like, resources that are now useless? Like, millions of flax. 
millions of pure essence you know okay i don't think i don't know who eats pure essence but like i'm just saying like we it could be a good be pet rice it could be a good resource dump shit. man you know like please dragix if this if this makes it to the game yo like make some of them more like useless shit useful yeah. right so then we can sink some of these yeah but that's all i got on that one i think yeah. whatever whatever skill comes they'll <laughs> just find a way of dumping resources into it I whether it's so. sailing we or, need to burn we need a good yeah burn. we need to burn some stuff man Earn some whips, you know, or make some bosses, you know, they're weak to slash again. But okay, off topic. Yeah. All right, Works, we'll habits and desires, just like real pets. As a result, taming has a lot of potential to interact with other skills, learning to prepare the perfect food, crafting the perfect toy, or even constructing the perfect house for them to live in. Once you've tamed your companion, the fastest way to train it will be by testing its mettle at dedicated taming activities around the world. Some companions may find joy in running specific obstacle courses. Others may find the sense of danger thrilling and would want to navigate elaborate mazes and traverse dangerous dungeons. Some may just want the cozy bonding time from playing good old fetch. Now, let's talk about why you'd want to tame a companion. The biggest benefit to doing so is gaining access to all of the things that companions can do which you cannot. Fangs, fins, gills, wings, these are all attributes that companions can have. A well-trained companion can utilize some of these to help you by unlocking access to new areas or helping with existing content. <laughs> As a reward from the skill, taming would naturally provide access to a whole series of content updates that only the most dedicated of tamers can handle. Lastly, here's what will happen if you vote for taming to advance to the refinement stage. The biggest unknown for us is what kind of perks you'd like to see and how strong they should be. How involved would you like to be in caring for your companion's needs? How do existing pets fit alongside the system? We want to explore how, if at all, you'd like for these companions to work in combat. We'd also like to work with you all to decide what kinds of content should be included in the release, such as pet sanctuaries where you store companions, a creature catalog for documenting information, what training activities you'd like your companions to have, player versus player creature fights, or even a companion only boss encounter or yeah. raid. Yeah, pulls it, pulls it. Possibilities yeah, really. Bro, bro real what, quick? Did, what did you, did you just say, what? bro? <laughs> she, she just said boss encounters. Do you, do you know what the first thing that comes oh, to my mind know. is? The first thing that comes to my mind when they say boss encounters is using your fucking pet cat on a curtain and then feeding it to the bro and then like, play pokemon and then it's oh, pokemon dude. battle music you know <laughs> i can imagine man. you're walking to the grand exchange and you just got like this full-on blown animation in front of you just like a squirrel <laughs> fighting a pig or some shit like hell yeah bro uh, uh, i don't know there's a lot there's a lot in that one it's a, it's a slippery yeah. slope to me like if mm -hmm. so say they say there's a there's a poll that says do you want these to be able to in you know embark in some combat activities with you like that's something the answer is no yeah if the answer is no which i honestly think most people are going to vote no to that then you just have taming and it's for skilling purposes and then yeah. how long would it be two years down the line when there's a reddit post made saying we should be able to tame combat thing. like you know like tame a dragon <laughs> yeah exactly. i want to fight it. <laughs> like, i don't see how they could put this in like every you know how many creatures could you really tame if they can't join you in combat like none like they all would want to join you in combat it doesn't make sense to have like a creature that just watches you get your head kicked in like if you have yeah. a bear <laughs> it's gonna fight on. for you if you have yeah. a wolf, it's gonna fight for you like there, that. there used to be some familiars that would not attack at all and they would yeah. just heal you but that's that's, that's still a stretch. That's, like, that's still a stretch. It's basically, yeah. like at that point, it's just half. Like if they yeah. they're, they're summoning. It, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's summoning, but mm -hmm. half. So yeah, it's pretty much but summoning. Think, yeah. yeah, I was just gonna say I don't really know how you could say this isn't like summoning. Like it's the only way thing, summoning. Like, summoning like, does. So, <laughs> the, the only thing that is different from summoning is that you would look at these familiars as pets. That you have like a uh, attachment to because you've raised them, right? So it's kind of like having like a Tamagotchi or a Pokemon, whatever it is. It's like that's the only difference. But then 
I don't know. I think we should see if there's any more to the video, and then we can have like a proper in-depth on yep. this, because I feel like it's pretty close to the end here, right? Yeah, let's see if there's anything <laughs> else they're talking about. I'm pretty sure it's over there. Yeah. Or raid. The possibilities really are endless. Do you want to add some quality of life features to existing content? Or are you looking to find the goodest boy and take care of him? Or do you simply want to try your hand at taming them all? If so, <laughs> in the all, upcoming oh poll, mm -hmm. vote yes to taming. All right. So it seems like uh, <laughs> you make a good point. If they do add combat, that's going to really mess some things up. And I always say RuneScape is a hardcore game that's getting easier as, as time goes on. But mm -hmm. it's at the point where we don't really need any anything in that nature of, of help. Right. Yeah, so if no, they keep honestly. it without combat, then I still think it's really cool, but we don't need a new skill. Maybe it's just a farming upgrade. And maybe if sailing does come out, you could have like an integration of the animals with sailing as well. Because if there's no combat, we could really just add this onto farming, in my opinion. I just feel like it fit. It's great. People still love it. And uh, maybe down the line in a couple of years, you could add like some sort of combat arc, if at all, but hopefully so, not. Like, not we sure. already have thralls. It we already have thralls, so that's a. I don't like thralls, by the way. Do you guys like, like thralls? I I'm love thralls, thralls, as in that they're, they're really great. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're great, and it's cool that there's you know an alternative to a spell book. Like, yeah, but it, the the whole sense of it is like I don't yeah I don't necessarily like seeing you're doing six men next. You have six people and also six ghosts that are equally as big as the people, and it's just like a crowd room. That part is not what I'm a big fan of, but yeah. Um, the, the main thing is like, if we wanted to have, you know, some skilling minions that follow you, that help you chop your tree a little faster and do stuff like that, like, why not put a kingdom divided two and just add a bunch of skilling thralls as a reward from that? You get one for fishing, one for mining, one for woodcutting, and then that's the whole skill of taming. You could then, if you really wanted the, you know, teaching your pet how to do stuff... I mean, we've got falconry. That's kind of part of it already. That would be similar to you've got a pet that does stuff for you. Like it could just be a bunch of little mini games. You could you could have a player owned farm, which from RuneScape three. I don't play it. I don't know RuneScape three's player owned farms. But say it was like you've got Tithe Farm. You head over to the farm and you just like train up your animals, and you you're getting a hundred k farming XP an hour. It's just an alternative way of training farming, and then. Thralls would cover the other part of it where you can like summon something to help you chop a tree. I don't know. That to me covers all of taming what they've just mentioned, but without the the painful aspect of having to feed your cat every 20 minutes or it dies and runs I away or not, whatever. Like if that's what that. taming is, that is a chore that I do not want to have to take part in. So they'd have yeah. to really figure out a way of making the training aspect of it fun. And I know we don't have a lot of skills that are actually fun, but whatever this new skill is, it's got to be fun. Yeah. Oh, I, I think something to bear in mind, right, as we watch all three of these pitches here, I think that they could probably all pass as a mini game, yeah. but I think out of the three of them, like this right here to me sounds like the perfect mini game. Like, I, I, in some ways, to me, it's almost like so. We're talking about old school RuneScape's first ever new skill. I think it would be so anticlimactic if that was it. Personally, mm. but that's just, just me. Like, I think there's some people that will absolutely love this idea, and that's fair enough. But I just I just feel like it's yeah. it's just it's just not enough, I don't think. And I think it would fit perfectly as like a mini game or like some sort of extent extension to something we already have. For yeah. sure. It feels like had this been there from day one in old school and everything was kind of balanced around having a minion that helps you fight and like that would have fit. But now that trying to add it in this late in the in the game is like, what are you are you gonna increase everyone's DPS by 30% when when you go from bandos to Torva it's less than one percent? Like it's just like one or two max hits. Like it I don't know. For the combat yeah. aspect for specifically, it just <laughs> changes it too drastically that uh it's hard to kind of see it and, like it like, sounds like a skill it sounds like it would fit it sounds like all these things but it's just like the whole aspect of maintaining the old school feel i think this is the one that kind of brings it farthest away the, the other thing is if they want this skill to be anything outside of just collecting the goodest of boys right yeah. <laughs> it's like then they have to give these animals that you 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 get and you raise 
some kind of like utility like it has to be able to benefit you some way so instantly i think about it there's a pet in runescape free that automatically picks up gp okay so if you get a coin drop it picks it up for you which is kind of cool they love it right and then i think back to pre-oc it's like you had the warpatinger which was like a cute little bunny rabbit that used to follow you around you'd use the special attack and it would like boost your mage and then you had the terror bird which would give you run energy and it's like that made those things useful so it's like if they were to add this as a skill it would have to have some utility to it or otherwise it's just like we're, we're just adding like yeah. collect them all uh, collect them on to the game i yeah it's I'm not, a, I'm not a massive fan of this one it's a great it's, concept just not as a standalone unless the combat is meaningful and if the combat is meaningful i'd have to see it in play because i'm pretty sure it'd still be bad in my opinion for the game but it's an awesome concept. I feel like they just add it onto a skill, give us some utilities outside of it that wouldn't break the game skilling wise. You know, make sure the Reddit yeah. people are not crying as much as they usually do. And we got ourselves a fun couple of weeks. I think. Yeah. Um, I think with any of these three skills, I like. I like the way they're doing this whole poll where they gave us bare bones ideas, and then they like. The, I understand why they're doing it. I do wish, however, on this blog they were like, "Here's the details. Here's what they're gonna do. Here's what like." I don't want them to refine it unless I think it's already gonna be good. That's my. That's how my heart is thinking, right? Like, I don't want to see them go any further with taming right now because it's like it seems like it'll be bad but they could just come straight out and tell us the whole details right now and then i'm like oh you know what that makes sense so it's in a hard spot for people to really buy into it where it's just so i mean like we don't know what it's going to do right dude here's a question though do you think it's a case of they don't want to go into the detail or is it a case of they haven't fully fought out the details because when we get into some of the other two like, they go into more detail. I feel like this of the free is probably the most lackluster in terms of what you can do. It's yeah. like, when we when we watch Sailing in a minute, they've already got, like, a whole bunch of ideas of how it can go <laughs> from, like, X, Y, and Z, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't know if it's a case of they don't want to <laughs> talk about it, or maybe they just haven't really thought about it. And I was yeah. speaking about this on stream today. To me, it kind of feels like... It's almost like a cheap fan service to people that just want to have this cute collectible thing. And there's nothing wrong with that, but oh, I think cheap. For, well, Wait, I think it is. I, I think it is compared it. to the other ones. <laughs> Listen, man. I, I no pun intended. It's definitely not a I full like, skill. I feel you. It's I feel not like a this skill. is a little no, bit I mean, too can tame be. compared to the yes. other oh, ones. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so, so this is definitely a skill, but is it ambitious and fun enough? Right to really like, you know, get people that excited. Probably not, you know, because it it really is just summoning 2.0, um, for the most part, you know. Yeah. I mean, the, right the, off the, bat, the over the oversimplification <laughs> of it, and like, listen, I I know it's different from this, but the oversimplification is it is summoning that's trained differently. Yeah, that's, like, the, that's, main that's the main yeah, difference. So that's the main difference. That's just that's training the main difference. difference. Yep. Um. Uh, well, yeah. this summoning was fun because you had stuff to like help you, but are they really gonna add a a Pakiak with thirty two inventory slots extra? Like that just oh, the game immediately. Yeah. It's just so broken, I, right? I so. mean, like at some point, right? Like uh, pretty much every new skill will impact the game, like in terms yeah. of efficiency in some way. But it definitely, it definitely should not be focused on on bossing improvement because, dude, we're getting the new prayer soon, and all this other new gear in like a few months. That shit's already cracked. Like, we need to chill out <laughs> on, like, mm -hmm. DPS right now. Because, oh my god, it, 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 new prayers coming out and alone is already yeah. going to be stupid. So, yeah. but yeah, I guess we no, should move on, good. should we? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you, what, what, what's guys... the overall feeling on this, then? Do you guys think that this is a, this is a skill that you guys would like in the game? Or are you not too sure? Or past nah, or I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it, honestly. I wouldn't want it just because if they were going to bring it out, they would need to release, like like massively new content to make it make sense like because like, for example right if you bring this out you it definitely needs to help you in combat or else this skill is kind of extra boring you know yeah. but 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 there's no reason to have extra dps right now because we're getting so much dps so they would have to release like a completely new new like piece of content landmass where there's like where there's like just things that you know are strong to the point where you need all this extra assistance you know but we don't have that Right, all these monsters don't get scaled up in any way. Like the the bosses that we have currently, they don't get harder or anything. 
right? So there's no reason to have that because then it would just make it e extremely easy on top of everything else that we're going to get. So I wouldn't want it right now. They would have to like yeah. add so much to the game to make it make sense. If we, if we take away the rewards, because <laughs> we're thinking about what does this change in the long term? If we take that away, like, do I look forward to waking up on a Saturday morning where I don't work? And I sit down and I train taming. I don't think I, like, from what they've said on how it's trained, you know, you're giving it belly scratches and you're, you know, you're doing obstacle <laughs> courses to get XP with your, like, doesn't exactly. interest me that much. Yeah. But that's okay. Like, uh, there's a lot of people out there that would probably interest them. But, um, you know, some of the content creators on Twitter and Reddit have run polls already on, on YouTube as well. And taming was the lowest, so I think we share a sentiment with a lot of people for sure that if it was between no skill and adding taming, most people are picking no skill. Okay. Yeah, I think to go back again, just the last thing I'll say is I think that it would be a nice, I think it would be a nice mini game, and I wouldn't be opposed to it coming into the game uh, as a mini game, like an add-on, but just not really for the first skill. I don't think. Yeah, mm. I mimic Rexy's thoughts for sure. I honestly to the T. Are you guys the same person? Alright, should we play the next one? Sure. <clears throat> okay. Hey, I'm Mod Husky. And today I'm going to talk to you about our most surprising skill pitch. A skill pitch that none of you have seen coming and is sure to catch the community by surprise. This is a skill that will allow you to meticulously travel parts of Gilinor that you are currently unable to access. To explore new and exciting content across the game world. Wait, hold on. This reminds me of like, cause like you know how taming is kind of like Pokemon, right? Like, like this aspect is like when you get Surf and then you can, you know, <laughs> go across a little river. You're like, oh my god, a Pokeball, you know? And then you just pick, take take the item, right? Is that what is that what we're hinting at here? You could be talking about shamanism. <laughs> <you don't> know. <laughs> oh no, it's true. But I think this is, uh, I don't know. We'll see. And learn to overcome <laughs> one of the greatest forces of nature in the world. Of course, Shaman is no. <laughs> you all know what this pitch is by now. Let's talk about sailing. Join Boat. us on this adventure Boat. and acquire a ship to take to the seas. Mm. Master the art of sailing and explore the world in a brand new way. Setting foot on new islands and traversing hazardous waters, storms, and sea monster attacks. Whether you're an adventurer uncovering new places to explore, a fisherman catching fish only available far out at sea, or a pirate venturing into dangerous waters looking to sink every ship in sight to plunder treasure, or even a courier looking to move goods from A to B, for a price of course. Sailing has something to offer for everyone looking to spend their time out at sea. So acquire a vessel, set forth, and experience Gilliner from a fresh and salty new perspective. Jokes aside though, this has been the most suggested skill pitch from the community, and one you have all been the most vocal about wanting in some form or another. Now, to you veterans of the community, you've been here before. The old school team pitched sailing as the first new skill back in 2015. But let's make it abundantly clear that this is not the same skill it was back then. It's been revamped, remastered, and re-envisioned, thanks to input from various pillars of the community, and also your responses in the survey. Let's take a look and dive into how sailing can work in old school RuneScape. First up, you'll have to make your way to a port and acquire a ship, whether it be a standard ship, a Viking longboat, or even a dwarven steamboat. The method of acquisition is up Pause? to you. Whether you buy one. Yo, did you hear that? They already got names for these boats, dude. The dwarven yeah. steamboat. That's kind of <laughs> sick, dude, bro. That's a, and dwarven the Viking tech. boat as well, bro. Uh. Like, you can kind of tell like, where the thought is, you know, yeah. his skills. Like, well, yeah, I mean, like we said, I feel like time. this is almost already a little bit more fledged out. Like, the first one almost seems Fledged like out. Yeah. a half-hearted attempt. I, I don't know, that's just, like, it just seems like they've got they've got the names for the boats. It's like the imagination's gone wild already. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, you know, Salem's been thought of way longer, right? So, I think Salem's just gonna have naturally a stronger marketing uh, point of view, you know? So, and yeah, we're also biased too because we literally spent like hours talking about sailing before. With we're Flopple. super biased for sure. We had Flopple <laughs> on. Definitely yeah. check that podcast out if you haven't. We went real deep on the possibilities of sailing, and the funny part is a lot of those possibilities seem to be lining up with exactly 
what uh, yeah. what this Jmod is saying. I mean, Flompool's basically like the poster <clears throat> child for sailing at this point. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever met anyone as passionate as this guy. Mm. So I would like to point that out because there is definitely a bias here. Huge and bias. A <laughs> huge bias, yeah, a huge <laughs> bias. But yeah. I, I think it is interesting what you just said because from what I've seen of it as well, pretty much everything we spoke about is mentioned in this video, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously their imaginations are going wild for this too. He's watched... Mm -hmm. He's watched all so their podcasts. This this one has like the most possibilities. Like yeah. that's that's where they're already saying like, oh, we could have this many different types of boats. Like that's all we've heard so far. But already it's like that's what taming could have. They could have this many different types of animals, and then it ends there. There's nothing more, right? Or sailing. That's just getting started. Where you pick your boat, you build it, you steal it, uh, you you know you pay for it, you you know whatever it is. So yeah, it's pretty uh, yeah. And the other aspect is that you're moving and going to places, you know, like exploring new areas. I, I love that, you know, because that's that's what makes it would make it a lot of fun, you know, because because like most skills now, you know, we have it's just usually we we stay in one place, we do the thing for a days or whatever, and then we move on to the next little place that we move on, you know, we we do for days. It's kind yeah, of boring. Everything you, know you do in this boring. one would be new. You know, yeah. you can move into new places, new areas, new boats, new mm -hmm. new uh, islands. I mean, you'd definitely want, like, as Fable said, would you want to wake up on a Saturday and spend your time doing this? Probably. I want to feel like I'm I'm going on a new adventure, you know? Bro, like, or at least for know, a first new skill. That's why I wanted to feel like a, an adventure. Dude, you know? would, you rather, would you rather finish work on a Friday, spend the weekends thinking... I get to go and adventure parts of Gilanor that I've never been able to access before? Or do you wake up thinking, I can't wait to go and look after my fucking baby and game? I need to give my bear 10 right. belly rubs tonight, you know? Like, like, dude, we <laughs> play this game to get away from that stuff, man. We don't play this game to get more can't of wait it. to do some agility with my rat. <laughs> hey, why are they like recycling that. agility content, bro? <laughs> I gotta think taming, uh, like, to another yeah. mention, taming is, like, that kind of panders to a different community than the four of us pokemon we're, we're all, i love pokemon you know, but i'm down to play pokemon pokemon yeah. Though, you know? yeah exactly like we're we're a bit older uh, in <laughs> our 20s i'll say um whereas this you know when i was 13 that sounds cool to anything sounds you know, cool have, though, a new, right? have a new dog right in, in game or whatever um, bro, take wait, are you now, saying like, you saying I have this one in real children? life <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, taming's for kids. You heard it here first. <clears throat> Damn, bro. Yeah, no. I think it. A uh, taming is definitely for a crowd of people that prefer to play this game more on like a social level. You know, more of a, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, for like sure. So something pet cool with sailing that they will get into is they want it to be social. That was one of our questions in the previous podcast. Mm -hmm. Is like, is sailing just going to be instanced? And they talk about it. No, they definitely don't want it to be. They want you to be able to see someone else's boat as your guys are kind of going to the same. That'd be sick. I'm a honk at Rixie. His little yeah. silk boat. Yeah, there should be yeah. a horn for sure. <laughs> An no, ACB no. spec as a horn. That'd be great. You would shoot he your was... cannon at your friends, like, "Hey, I'm here." Oh. It's like I can tell. He wouldn't dare. All right, I would take <laughs> yeah. Rixie down in boat ship battles, chess, PvP, <laughs> any sport. Bro. Man, you know when you, you're gonna end up making your boat out of like fucking I don't even know like bulwarks. Yeah, dude, <laughs> bulwark ship. Honestly, strong. <laughs> But like, metal. <laughs> there are just so many more possibilities for sailing because like think of it like this like like there's we're touching the surface of it thinking can you do it with your friends it would be like can you have a boat which is specifically for your clan like can you have like Damn. a clan battleship like mm. do you know what i mean there's so Hell much yeah. that they could do with this oh Little my insignia, god flag Crazy. yeah on their um on their live stream today they talked about having the sails like represent your clan in game you know how they've got the clan colors and oh, icons they'll shit, let you yeah. put that as your sales and yeah so there's the again the possibilities are endless they um they already did they did their digging they talked about this again on the live stream where they went to the uh, engine team and are like is this possible and they were like yeah we'd love to do it and they're already the engine team's like fully on board on thinking up of creative ideas how to make it work so you can tell definitely they've they've researched this since 2015 when they originally pitched it like they've they've got this down a little bit further yeah for sure mm. oh dude well after we finish watching the video as well we can obviously go through the blog and they've they've touched on that a little bit more on how they've approached it differently from 2015 yeah. which is like jesus it was all that time ago yeah, yeah i felt like last week i don't know yes, yeah but yeah let's see what, let's see what else they got too i haven't watched this video yet i'm excited 
<laughs> Borrow one, steal one, or build one for yourself. Once you, you have a, a ship, you can steal navigate one. the seas <laughs> and undertake a variety of activities. Sounds like PvP, you yeah. know. Either self-imposed or directed from various NPCs at port. This is how we envision the bulk of XP being awarded. You could search for an elusive sea monster, seek out the best places to acquire rare fish, undertake a series of sailing time trials, or simply bask in the unrivaled thrill of sea exploration. With the sailing skill release, our goal is to really make it feel like a fully fledged sea expansion, which functions as its own biome with a whole bunch of new, interesting, and dynamic content, and not just the copy-pasted sea texture that it currently is. If this has whet your appetite for the high seas, next I'd like to talk about what you can expect should you vote for sailing to advance to the refinement stage. First and foremost is navigation at sea. We definitely want to be more ambitious than the Bone Voyage quest, and there are a number of possibilities we could go with. From click to move, WASD keys, or setting your direction on interface, or perhaps something else entirely. Additionally, how large or small should the ships be? Are you the ship, or are you on a ship? And what level of customization should a ship have? Whether it's for... I think um, what he just said there, are you the ship, or are you on the ship? I think it could potentially be both, where maybe <clears throat> there's like instances where you are like the camera is you and like you're supposed to be the ship. But definitely in my mind, it should be you're on the ship because that implies that you know you can have other people on there as well and it would make sense. Sounds like everybody like a having the same angle. Philosophical question. Am I the ship? Am I <laughs> <Yeah>. the ship? <laughs> um but yeah, before we get too far with it, my idea here is say each boat random number each boat needs eight crew members to operate it say you've got you know level 70 sailing and now you've got this the biggest boat that you can make for example and you need eight crew members so option one you do that solo like wooks trying to solo day one content like yo i made it to this island solo and like that'd be cool or you could do it with friends you bring seven friends and kind of like a maybe like a raids party you're like, okay, first in the orb order is going to do the navigation of like the, the sail. Second is going to do the rudders. Third is going to be on the cannons. Fourth is going to be like, you kind of pick like that. And then the third option is like construction. You hire a crew and they're not quite as tick efficient as you could get with your friends. But this could be like, this is a fun social aspect. Let's all get on the boat. Let's go and, you know, sail together. I can just picture a, an eight-man Discord call where you're like, oh my god, no, turn around, that's a pirate ship, and then three of the guys on your team are like, no, we can take it, we can take it, and then you all wipe and lose the ship. Yeah, like, water dungeoneering, like, let's go. Could you imagine yeah, if you like, could lose the ship or crash yeah. into an island and like you, do oh, real damage, bro? And then you meet like, your friends. You gotta... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and it before... goes on their record. <laughs> like all the money they lost, bro, it's like 20,000 oak plates. It just shows a rape scene or something that's, you know, yeah. it's captured. Yeah, that'd be great. I think yeah. that could be that could be fun for sure. So with that said, um, if you want to get 99 sailing and never navigate the boat, you could hire someone to do it for you. You could just specifically be like, yeah, I don't play it that way. I do the AFK on the sails. It's less XP than navigating, but it's more AFK, whereas navigating is like very, you know, hands on. Um, the other thing is for navigation. I think they didn't mention this as an option. What if you're standing on the boat and you're running around on the deck and like option one is you can right click the sail and it says turn right, turn left or something like turn port or starboard. And then, you know, on the wheel, you could say like turn one notch to the left. Like, I don't know if that would be good. They did uh, mention maybe they interface, put all of this so in a beta. I think but, probably yeah, instead interface of an interface. So, yeah, interface is an option. WASD is an option. And then just click and it moves is an option. But I'm just thinking, what if you just like you set the sail? to be you know two degrees west and then you just leave it for 15 seconds and then you readjust it okay now turn it one like not with an interface necessarily but you you physically right click the sail and and say move and then your character grabs it and turns it a little bit or pulls on the strings or whatever i think that could be an option for navigation and i don't know if that's the best option it's just that's another one that they didn't mention so figured that i'd uh, bring that up but yeah they said they, they want to throw the navigation options into a beta um I sure, hope they and, do. and let us try it. Do. Like that's got to be the big. That's the one thing that people look at sailing and they think of the Bone Voyage quest and they're like, I don't want it. Oh and please that's the, no! That's yeah. the reason why they're voting no on it is because that's what they think it'll be. So I think 
definitely. We got to see uh, what they come up with for navigation. Those those four options, I think any of them would work, but it's just which one's the best. Yeah, whatever is yeah. more fluent and skill based, but also not feeling very chunky, you know, because yeah. you can imagine just sailing on a boat and you see another boat pass. You, it's got to be like RuneScape where it makes sense, mm. right? Somehow, like maybe you're moving at tick intervals and like if your boat's faster, you just go a little faster. I don't know. It's it, if, In my mind, it just seems like Roblox wonkiness where the boats are like jiggling and shit. So mm. I, I got to see this in action. <laughs> yeah i don't know i feel like the marketing is probably going to be the it's its biggest uh enemy you know but yeah navigation is definitely a, a big concern but i think marketing itself is going to be the biggest one just because many many years ago we write the word sailing was already used for this skill and like it was a complete fucking meme so yeah, i yeah. feel like more majority of people like let's say they're getting back into the game they're like they're like you know they hear the new skill they're like waiting to come back because of a new skill but then they hear sailing they're like that shit again you know yeah so dude that's kind of <laughs> like the it, same. just call it something else like uh, yeah like sailingism for example <laughs> oh, I mean, it should have just been like voyaging or something you know honestly voyaging the, wouldn't be a bad idea yeah but, but like, like the, yeah the i just feel is, like that's gonna be their main i feel like if it fails it's gonna be because they kept the same name and like a lot of people obviously who doesn't do much research because they you know they watch tiktoks all day they're gonna be like ah oh, sailing no i don't want it because it's it was meme last time you know the shade so, to TikTok, man. Yeah. But no, I mean, I, I think you know, people don't I, I read know, or I know listen. What you're saying. Yeah. I know what you're saying, but I don't know, bro, because it's been so many years now. Yeah. I'd hope that people are kind of over that. Yeah. And, like, to be honest with you, the marketing for this could be oh, super yeah. simple, right? So, firstly, you've got the element of it being your first ever skill. New skill to old school RuneScape. That's huge. They need to market that and, like, just plug that everywhere. And, like, I feel like one of the biggest selling points is the exploration like it should be focused on you literally get to go to parts of the game which have been black since the beginning of the time you've not known what's there you can go to new islands that's like the biggest thing and like not to mention up until this point we have two real main methods of transportation which is either walk or run Right, it's like we're talking about something completely different yeah, that isn't, the isn't like a cut scene. <laughs> the canoe, but you know, yeah. you know what I mean, right? So you got the magic carpet as well, and you got fairy rings, you got teleports, but it's oh, effectively yeah, just like carpet. Yeah. Th this is a completely different means of transportation where you get to explore parts of the game that have never been seen, Dude, and also they can do anything <laughs> with it. They can do anything. Dude, they like I can already with. envision the the trailer, bro. It'll start off something like. You know, you can walk, you can run, but now you can sail. And then, boom, you just, like, fucking transition to a ship. Stormy waters, you know? And then you just yeah. see, like, a new island. And then there's, like, unlock new bosses or something, you know? Encounter By new way, resources, you know? It, boom, done. I really, <laughs> I really hope that they give... You, you know the captain's hook that you can get from the um, agility course? At even at yeah. Brimhaven? I yeah. hope they give that some sort of, like, functionality. Like, where maybe, I don't know, if you have it, like, you can get a certain, maybe, like, an XP boost, or, like, you have an advantage doing some shit. I yeah, don't know. Brimhaven could be, like, a, a like a hub for the news. It makes it harder to yeah. sail. Yeah. It, just, it would have to be. <laughs> yeah. makes it harder. <laughs> yeah, Brimhaven, like Fishing Guild, and, like, um, For the real pirates. Sail. Dude, they <laughs> could even make it, they could make it so it's, like, there's, like, an island, and it's, like, you're only allowed to go there. It's, like, a pirate island. You're you only like allowed a body to go part. there. <laughs> you can only go there if you're missing a body part. Like, you have <laughs> to have the hook, or otherwise they're like, nah, you're not coming in here. Like, you're not a worv worthy veteran or some <laughs> shit. I don't know. Dude, they could do, like, sea clue scrolls, where you just find, like, a little bottle. Well, they already have that through fishing, but you find it in the sea, and you can only do it in the new yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, like, oh. yeah, exactly. Which they well, should also add for, like, the wilderness, too. If you get a clue in the wilderness, it's yeah, only steps sure. in the wilderness. Maybe That's the other right there. Yeah, Wild East class. Hmm. Yeah, so I the main thing you guys are talking about marketing, and I know your your brains jump to there. They gotta give like yeah. at least one or two days free membership when this skill comes out. That will bring so many people back. Where it's like, yeah, you yeah. can come try sailing, and it's like it's you just you see know, a swarm of wooden boats yeah. just yeah. <laughs> out of yeah, like, exactly. yeah there's 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 a bunch of level three people coming back to the game or you know She's whatever. Bumping into each other and dying and shit. I don't know how it works, yeah. but oh yeah. that'd be so good. That is something I worry about is like like how many boats can you actually fit and are they going to like be able to go over people? Like you can stand on top of someone else's character, you just kinda walk through them or whatever. Can you do that with the boats? Are they gonna clip through each other? 
Otherwise, like all the ports are going to be full on day one, even well, for weeks. I like, think the port is going to be more like, like don't like. I feel like the ports they're not going to try to make it like live, you know. Yeah. Whereas when you sail out in the sea, they'll give you a generated space big enough that you can have like multiple bolts visible. It's going to be like LMS lobby. Yeah. Where you see a bunch of people and then you oh, see yeah, them disappear. I think it's simple. A bunch of people there disappear. So so it's actually really simple, right? So when you're at the actual port. There's like a loading zone or something, right? That you mm. click through or you walk through. And then once you walk through it, it loads the, the instance for like an insane part. Like, like, how do, do you know how like in, in, in RuneScape cities are kind of small, actually, if you run through the whole thing. But like when you load into it, it'll show you like a real representation of the, the, the actual port, right? Where there's just so much space. I think that's probably how they're going to do it. I mean, I think that's how they should do it because otherwise, you mean you know, when you load into the boat, kind of like when you load into the, the the parking area, like the parking area will expand, right? Like the into a new map kind of deal, and it's like huge, like so gotta, huge that you, you can. You gotta brush up. You gotta brush up on your uh, on your lingo. Yeah, it's it's docking. Not docking. Parking. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm not a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, right? Once you get to the docking Park area, it'll load into the actual real one and then you'll see all the boats and stuff i think that's how this is gonna work all i know is my boat's gonna be much bigger and shinier than someone on this podcast that's, <laughs> it. that's for sure yeah. hey, you're gonna have a fucking wooden raft when i'm finished with you <laughs> that's gonna be like your escape dude your escape capsule is just gonna be like a piece of fucking bark because yeah. you're not gonna, gonna be able to trim on it yeah the insignia is gonna be a cow head you know like uh a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. thought do they add uh, do they add swimming with this update if sailing comes no nah, you just die as soon as you hit the water yeah. you hit the water you're done away. Yeah. well yeah, you could like you could like you you can already do that in certain parts of the game in, in the quest yeah. you know but <laughs> yeah but do well, they now make it yes, so you just whatever swim that yeah is. like like michael phelps like actual swimming animation <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you can run you can like swim swim not like float like i guess we only have floating we don't have swimming <laughs> I kind of absolutely hate all the underwater stuff in RuneScape, like all of it. Yeah. Every piece yeah, of like, it, I hate yeah. it so much. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just hit cause... play. Hit play <laughs> on the damn video. Uh, I will learn some right. more. Okay, here we go. A ship. And what <clears throat> level of customization should a ship have? Whether it's for flexing your sailing achievements or improving your ship's performance. And of course, what activities would you <clears throat> like to do at sea? We've had a load of ideas to connect sailing with other skills just by asking, how would this work at sea? What could you farm? What could you fish? What could you slay? What could you hunt? Could clues work at sea? The sheer number of possibilities is an exciting prospect. Whether you're an explorer, a sailor, a mercenary, a pirate, or a simple merchant, sailing has something to offer for everyone. So hop on board and let us know in the upcoming poll if you'd like to take to the seas by voting yes to sailing. There you go, that's it. Oh, yeah. Bro, Hi, easy. I'm like easy sailing. Done. <laughs> if they think they can handle it. Before, the before all the shamanism, <laughs> before all the shamanism lovers, like, have already, they've already clicked off the podcast. This yeah. Point, <laughs> yeah. We, we do gotta say, like, tell shaman, you, uh, yeah. shamanism is pretty cool, too, so we will get Yeah, dude, that. I was just yeah. reading it before the podcast. Shamanism yeah. is, like, I'm not even gonna lie, I really like shamanism. I was, I, I was even, shocked. Yeah, I, was I wouldn't even be it. opposed if they were to do both of them. I know they can't because of resources, but like, I actually think that it would make a really good skill, like yeah. straight up, like alongside sailing as its own standalone thing. I think that it's actually got so much potential. And like, although I'm more lent to, so I explain why I'm more lent towards sailing. We're we'll obviously getting to shamanism in a minute. It's the third skill they're proposing. Um, I think that sailing ultimately would equal faster fun and i think that the skill will be based a lot around having fun and for exactly. me personally as a non-skiller that sounds good to me if i can have fun doing a skill holy shit i'm in whereas i feel like shamanism and we'll get to it in a second there's gonna be a lot more of like just gathering stuff which is yeah. fine and i think that that adds value to the game as well but if i had to choose that that's probably like the only thing that really diff diff can never say this word Differates. Differentiates. Yes, the two. I'm not, I can't <laughs> say that word, boys. I can't do it. I, um, but I will say one last thing, and that's cool. So, what I will say is 
Something that I think Sailing could potentially open the door to that would be really cool, and this is from my PVM side, is so when you think about the content for raids that we have in the game right now, we have the Chambers, which is kind of in the Swamplands. You have TOB, the Theater of Blood, which is in the Vampire Lands. And then you also have TOA, which is in the Desert. I feel like naturally it would make sense for the next raid, when it does come out, to be water-based, because we've not had that yet. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like that would kind of come hand-in-hand hand with sailing, and there's like a million different ways they could introduce it through like, maybe it's like an island you discover, and it's like, hey, this is where Raids 4 is going to be. Or maybe it's like an underwater cavern, and it's like, this is like the entrance to Raids 4. You know, I just feel like it kind of goes hand-in-hand. Hand. So that's just something I'm thinking like ahead of time there. So from, you know, there's a lot of people who hate sailing, for their like they've got legitimate reasons for it i will pretend i'm one of those people like i think sailing's great and that it, it has like the highest potential um what why is this not just a mini game that you can just like jump in a boat and go sail around and and do some activities and come back do you guys have ideas I, on like I, I what will, changes i will that? answer that i will answer oh, that. easily yeah I, I think that you could use that argument for any skill that you'd propose ever period yeah because sure. at, at this point it's like runescape old school runescape kind of feels like it has all of the skills it would ever need like it doesn't feel like there's a need for a new skill but mm -hmm. we just want a new skill therefore pretty yeah. much any skill that will ever be uh introduced or even thought about could always be regarded as a mini game including like yeah. all three of these yeah so with this, um, you know, if there was, if it came down to it, they've they've pitched it and they've said, okay, with sailing comes raids four, comes a new agility method, a new fire making method, a new like all these methods. You can make money, you can do PvP, you can do all this. Do you want that to be tied to a skill, or do you just want it in the game and not have a new skill with it? Like, are you guys voting? Yes, I want it as a skill. So yeah, of I I think the, the oh. I think the new content should be. So, so right, if they're bringing out new content like the raids, for example, yeah. I think that they could obviously use it as a gateway to get to that content, but mm. I don't think that the content should be gate-kept through the skill. So, so basically what I'm saying is, if you want to do raids 4, but you don't want to do sailing, mm -hmm. it should be incredibly low entry, if like no entry to get through at all. It's like, you should literally be able to just like nah, you, jump you know, on somebody's boat to get there if yeah. you really don't want to do the So, content. you know why That's I don't fine. think it matters too much? It's because they, they already put a, a quest wreck on Raids 3. Mm -hmm. You know? So there's no reason why you couldn't put a wreck for Raids 4. Like, oh, I think have... it's different because like, this is like, you know? this is a new skill. Like, there are people who don't want a new skill, and to me, sailing is the one that will affect them the least. It won't, like, if you're in normal RuneScape right now, like, the new skill is exclusively expanded outside of current Gilinor. So you'll just never see or hear about Sailors at all. You might see some new Fashionscape at the GE, but otherwise, like, you won't have to deal with it at all. If you don't want to train Sailing, you don't have to. If you want to get to those new islands with the new content, you can either buy a teleport off the GE, you can hop on someone else's boat, or they could even add an NPC that will you can pay 100k to get there for the first time, and then 70k the second, and then 50, and then 20, like the crystal armor. Like they could make it so this is an opt-in skill. If you don't want to train it, you don't have to. I don't see that with taming because if you're just oh, walking you're around taming? Lumbridge, yeah. If you know if you're walking around Lumbridge, you're gonna see wolves following every player. You're gonna see yeah. goblins and whatever other creatures they let you tame. You're gonna see that everywhere. And the yeah. same with with shamanism, like. It's it's going to be like okay, part of everywhere, uh, everyone's equipment that you know part of shamanism that we'll get into is everyone's equipment is yeah. now buffed up. So if you don't want to do shamanism, then you can't get that buffed up equipment. Anyways, that's my <laughs> point with like if you don't want a new skill, your best bet is sh is yeah. sailing because it won't affect you. You're, you're basically yeah, saying no, that's like a great non intrusive point. point, and I think yeah. that yeah. you know that Good that point. is very. Fair I think sailing sure. is de like because it's a balancing thing, yeah, because. Well, here's some balancing issues, right? If you if you put taming, it will devalue pet hunting pretty pretty massively because you know then you just have like 200 different things that can follow you, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of like the limited like okay, this guy has something following you, it's a pretty rare thing, you know. So that's already one issue there, and yeah, the intrusiveness. I think shamanism we haven't talked about it yet, but it's pretty intrusive because it'll be like 
uh, invention uh, in R3 where people will see your items have an augmented look to it. And trust me, it does not look good. I hate the augmented look in R3. It looks bad. Uh, well, you can like turn it off though, thankfully. You can turn that off visually like as a choice but still it's like intrusive it is and yeah. and and bouncing too would be an uh would definitely be an issue because then you're just constantly improving your gear which we really don't need especially because again we're getting all these crazy new buffs with prayer books soon and just new rings and all that so yeah sailing is definitely way easier to balance because it's gonna it's like the reason why i wanted dungeoneering is because it's very um isolated in in certain ways where you know, your power-ups, your improvements, is just more so for the skill itself and not for other things outside yeah. of the skill, you know? So I, 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 I enjoy the balancing aspect for sure. It's much better. There's definitely an aspect of, like, for the J-Mods and for the people working on the actual game where sailing can... It, like, it's so non-intrusive, like you said, that in terms of, like, future content updates, like, they just have an endless amount of possibilities to work with it's yeah. like the, if they're like they don't have to worry about building something in the confines of the og gilinor map yeah it's like they can just build a complete new island like yeah. there, there's so many like ways around problems that they would have otherwise and skills that you know but anyways <clears throat> we should listen to the last skill and hear what hear oh what wait actually about. one last pitch because honestly i feel like you kind of brought in some pokemon vibes i feel like you know, you ever play those old games where sometimes you would get access to a new island and that shit was so epic, you yes. know? That's yeah, yep. kind of like what, I, like, that's what sailing could do for us is that, like, we finally yeah. get, like, this idea of, like, this, it's you know, you, you, you give people that lore that, like, there's these islands over there, you just never could mm -hmm. reach it. But now, you you know, like, if you work your way towards it, you can get there, you know? It's like mysterious islands, whatever, it's so cool. If they could if they, do randomly generated terrain and randomly generated islands and randomly generated oceans, like, that's crazy. Like, that's so that's good. Great. And oh, if yeah, it's not random, I know if they, if they take the old school approach, like Chambers of Zarek with their randomly generated raids that are just like, there's 16 different layouts kind of thing, they could, they could just make a thousand different oceans and like, maybe you, and you randomly get to the same one twice on your way to 99. But otherwise, like yeah, each time yeah. you sail, it's it's new, it's fresh. I think cool. it's just like it's exciting. Again, I use my Saturday morning. You wake up, you got the day off work. It's like I don't know what's gonna happen on the ocean today. I might bump into a creature that's like a one in a thousand chance to bump into, and if you kill it, it's like a guaranteed drop that upgrades your boat. Yeah. Again, none of that affects any of the other part of the game. Mirage Island from really cool. Pokemon just, Gen Three, right there. It just Mirage throws Lugia in there. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think I think um in the last mm. podcast we did with Flumple where we spoke about sailing, I actually mentioned as an example to what you just said, Ree, in yeah. Pokemon Silver, Gold, and Crystal. You guys remember when you finally unlock the like skill Lugia. swim for a Pokemon, you go back to the hometown where you start the game, yep. and there's like a tiny little bit of water there, and it takes you all the way to like the Champion League and stuff. And it's like, yeah, it just, yeah. it just opens Yo, the that shit was crazy. Completely. Yo, that shit yeah. was crazy. Cause then you're like, wait, what's Kanto? Yep. <laughs> you're like, what the hell? <laughs> it's so but cool. Like, I, I it, know, nostalgia vibes, bro. There is so much they can do. Like, yeah. you know, Jagex have done like many references to like famous things, like uh, Monty Python, for example, with um, you know, yeah, you get like Camelot little, and shit. You know, yeah. yeah. So yeah. And, like, in Philadelphia, the little, they've done this. <laughs> the little crystal rabbit that you can kill uh, yeah. up in Prithinus and stuff. It's like I was thinking this earlier, and this is just like a wacky pipe idea, but I was thinking like. You know, they could have like a lake that's like a famous lake in RuneScape. And how about maybe in the middle of it, you can sail to the middle and like you can fight against like some historical myth of a monster. Like, I don't know. Yeah. What, oh, dude. Like the lake. What's that one up in Scotland? The Loch Ness Loch Ness monster. Loch Ness monster. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't you know, know that from Scotland. Right? Hey, Scotland. Stone skip away. Or whatever you got. Yeah. Stone You're away. literally like an hour drive away, mate. <laughs> no, man. Dude, I bet you can see that. I'm like ten hours away from Scotland. Uh, That's like you guys going from east to west almost in America. No way, so dude. Your Europe you, is so small I, compared to. You can walk there. I think. I think it's about ten hours. I think it's about ten hours. Damn. What are those roads? Like bad. horse roads, mate? Like 10 hours? There's there. a lot of Roman roads, but nah. That's pretty like badass. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, we have Roman roads where I live. Like, the main road is a Roman road because I uh, I live mm. near a place called the Roman Baths. And they're Ooh, fucking cool. Have you been to the Baths? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do you wash yourself in those things? Nah, you can't go in the news. Oh, no, it's not open? That's so sad. Uh, I know. Dude, do you know what? It is actually really sad because it's so cool. But it's cool. They're trying to preserve it. You know what I mean? They've got, like, mosaics in there and stuff like that. They want to preserve it. And they don't want people in there with, like, their fucking dirty asses, like, messing that place up. And I mean, a lot of dude orgies happen in there. So, I mean... Back Hell in the yeah, day, or were. now? Oh yeah. yeah, that's how Romans went, bro. I don't know what we're talking about right now, but mm. yeah, what did I walk back into? What yeah. are you talking about? Talking about I have no idea. Orgies, I think <laughs> the the saying was they would uh, procreate with the women and have fun with the men. <laughs> the, why not? You know, <laughs> they, they, you know Romans went deep. Uh, but before we watch the next part of this video, I am actually not super keen on shamanism unlike some some of you guys so far i've read a little bit on it so hopefully and i watch the video maybe my my opinion will change because i haven't seen the video yet maybe they'll sway me over but for now i don't know I'm not, that's tough, not a bad it's tough because we're on a, a believer the podcast uh for argument's sake would have been better if it was like rakesy is in love with taming and he convinces us <laughs> and then like rice cup is in love with sailing and then mint mad cow's in love with shamanism you know and like we could have like that constructive conversation yeah. uh, it's we need to bring on yeah. haters next time dude because i don't even like the name shamanism it sounds yeah, the, the so name just immediately bit ditch the name and call it shaman why not like, call it spirituality <laughs> call it ghosting yeah. Just yeah, anything ghost. but shamanism bro. no it call it so you get xp Booty. if you ignore someone's pm <laughs> yeah what's a better nice. word for shaman nature <laughs> no let, like, yeah, okay, it's naturality. Great way to be <laughs> watching the podcast right now let us know what's a better name for shamanism than yeah. shamanism yeah, yeah. Yeah, for they, sure. I mean, they could just uh, they could just change all the other skills to be like prayer, and magicism, <laughs> <and> religionism, <laughs> capitalism, religionism. Why don't, religionism. Why don't they it's change religionism. it to something? Right. <laughs> what, what do you think of druidism? <laughs> just call it just druid. No, just call it druid. Yeah, they could they could call it druid because like yeah. I mean that would actually work with what they've got. Yeah. No, sure. it's, tough. It. it's tough again we we should definitely shouldn't get hung up on the name because that's as simple as marketing they is a question saying bro. what do you like best right yeah yeah um yeah. Right. Be good. yeah are we ready we ready okay all right i've had mott light's face smiling the whole time she's getting tired <laughs> it's like a disney commercial light, and i'm excited to talk to you about our wildest skill pitch this is a combination skill wildest. with both a gathering and production element to bring you something new mysterious and exciting Get ready for shamanism! With shamanism, shamanism, you can study the mysterious power of nature and unlock the ability to perform rituals by gathering resources from nature and tapping into the spirit realm to infuse them. Producing powerful items like tikis, totems, and poultices in addition to enhancing your own equipment. Through mastering shamanism, you unlock your third eye and gain access to the spirit realm a new area of the game to explore where you can commune with spirits. In the gathering part of shamanism, you'll collect two different kinds of resources, spiritual and natural. Natural resources come in two forms. Some resources you can forage across Gilanor, such as mushrooms, roots, bark, and leaves. Others can be harvested directly from creatures using a carving knife, such as taking bone marrow from a giant the blood of a hellhound, or the spleen from a giant frog. Spiritual resources are harvested from the spirit realm. You can track down disturbed sites where the connection to the spirit realm is the strongest, and then reap the rewards. We know from your feedback that you didn't want to see another viable production skill, and that's exactly why we've looked to incorporate gathering directly into shamanism. Our intention is to make the majority of resources that you gather say it. untradeable. This right. I really think that this is like a stoner's paradise. Like, I, would <laughs> I was about to I would... say, bro, are you going to grow some <laughs> DMT and hit the spiritual <laughs> realm? Or some ayahuasca, <laughs> bro? You got to mix this shit up? It genuinely, like, I could actually imagine people getting off work on a Friday and being like, okay, I'm just going to get blazed this whole weekend and just do some fucking herbalism or whatever the skill's called and just fucking <laughs> sip Tom, mushrooms and shit. Spiritualism, bro. Tom, you know what I'm waiting for right now? I'm waiting for What's Joe that? Rogan to pop out. Part of shamanism. He's like, what are the places, bro? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, we should all smoke know, for really this know. session. <laughs> Yeah. I, I love how like hippie it is. I really do. I actually do. I think it's super cool. And I love the the like in, environment example they gave a minute yeah. ago. It looks so colorful. It looks I do very like cool. it. I do like it. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to definitely talk about uh some of the ideas that they mentioned further in the video and they mentioned in the blog. I won't get to it yet, but yeah. Yeah, we play. Yeah, yeah go for it. Let's go. Oh uh, dude, I clicked on oh, I clicked on the wrong one ensures a more interesting and exciting gameplay loop than simply buying the resources from the Grand Exchange and then standing at a bank to train the skill. Now, let's move on to production. Once you've gathered the natural and spiritual resources required, you'll have to perform a ritual to infuse the natural resources with the spiritual one. All right, one, light one up, boys. To do so, I'll be right back. <laughs> you'll need to create and use a ritual circle. These can be drawn in most outdoor areas. The products of shamanism could include tikis, poultices, oils, incenses, <clears throat> idols, relics, totems, a collection of quirky magical utility items, and even enhancements to your existing equipment. Now, you may be wondering- Yo, they need to add some like, add some like Asian motifs, like some feng shui, some talismans, you know, like into this and it'd be perfect. Robes, some commands. Yeah, hell yeah, the dude. Spiritual. They need everything, bro. Yeah. yeah. Bring how the spirit Instant realm- Instances, where's those? Yeah. Comes into this yeah. and Please. what you could do there. For us, it's this twist that sets shamanism apart from other skills. The spirit realm is an alternate reality where spirits live and is the source of a shaman's power. Disturbed sites are closely linked to the spirit realm and experienced shamans can use their understanding of the two to move freely between them. As your shamanism level increases, you'll be able to access deeper parts of the spirit realm and who knows what you'll find inside. Now let's wrap things up by talking about what's next for shamanism. If approved for refinement, we want to discuss with the community how shamanism can enhance existing equipment. It's a huge draw of the skill, but we need to know what you think. Should enhancements be permanent or temporary? Should they be visible to other players? What can you enhance? How many enhancements should there be? And what kinds of benefits should they provide? We'd also like to talk about the specifics of the gathering side of the skill, such as how intensive it is, and how many different training methods we should include. So, whether you simply want to train another gathering-like skill, whether you're excited about the prospect of enhancing your own equipment, or you're just interested in exploring the powers of nature and the spirit realm, in the upcoming poll, vote yes to shamanism. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm I not so. I definitely don't think that the enhancement really should cool. be permanent. I don't think they should be permanent. Yeah. But I, something they didn't... It's like invention, if that's the case. You know? Something they didn't touch on, which is a little bit... I, I, don't, I don't know, like... So my mind instantly, when I think about pulling power from, like, a spiritual realm, is, like... So firstly, the way that you gather some of these resources is literally by fucking, like, cutting the blood out of a hellhound or taking mm -hmm. a spleen from a frog. Like, there's something about that that's kind of sinister. And I feel like there <laughs> should be a side of this, which is, like, the good spiritual side. Vegan but there should side. also... There should Spirit also be, Zammy. Yeah, yeah, like, the, the hippie side. But there should also be, like, the fucking corrupt, like, demonic side, where it's like you're pulling wrath from fucking demons. Like, mm. they didn't even touch on that. So I, I don't know if they have so that much cooler. You mean like Imagine if it takes you, <laughs> what if it takes you to a realm where God Wars Two is, and you're fighting the actual gods, bro? Right? No, 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 don't do the gods part. We don't want to do that. In our street, they already oh. did that. It's it fucks. Oh, up did they? The or they went to the you're fighting the real gods? You fight, yeah, you fight actual Zambi in in our street at this point. It's too much. Hell yeah, dude. Right, dude you I think will, I care uh, about lore? Let's fight some gods. No, because it'll, 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 like, it'll kill the immersion, man. Gods. It'll kill the immersion. Like you can fight a fake god big version of it you know like i i wonder if they didn't mention anything about that because they don't have any intentions to do it or if it's something they would be willing to explore but they haven't really thought about it because I that to if... me would make this almost a slam dunk if it was like there's both sides there's the yin and the yang you've got the good and the bad and you can draw upon both of those powers i think i would be like 
I, I would. I, I, I guess, even know what to vote. I guess for say, them. Yeah. I guess for them, shamanism is more about juridic, like style. You know, like more about nature yeah. hippie vibes. More, more so than the overall spiritual plane. You know, kind of deal. But I get what you're saying. You, you, you it should be more like an overall thing, right? Versus like just the good hippie part. You know, thing. I, I just think cool. it could be both, and yeah, I think yeah. that would make it a little bit more interesting if they did both. I, then it, I would probably just call it like spiritualism or something. I don't know, <laughs> right? Or like some sort of like, uh, mm. yeah. I guess shamanism sounds like more of a hippie aspect of taking benefits from nature and like the the spirits, you know, of nature rather than like the spirits of hateful dead beings or something. I guess. But yeah, oh. I I don't really I honestly sailing all the way, dude. I, you know what I mean? Like sailing is just way cooler because like the other two doesn't really have much exploration vibes to it. Sailing is like exploration, adventure, a reason to like play the game again for real, you know? Because then you're like ex discovering new lands all the time and all that good stuff. And yeah, I love shamanism that. Shamanism and pet hunting kind of affect combat too, where sailing doesn't really do anything to combat at all. Bro. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, it keeps it way more. Yeah. Stay Dude. for overall. It's not going to change the meta. And um, honestly, it just seems like a whole better of a lot built skill. Boys, I, I've literally just in my brain, it's just clicked. Okay. So this is the way that I'm going to look at it. So I think that the first skill, Taemanism, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Close I don't know. Taemanism. Ta I, think, Ta I feel Ta like Taemanism and yeah. Shamanism. Okay. Yeah. Both of those skills. They they remind me of just like an update to the game, whereas sailing feels like a fucking brand new expansion. Yeah, it's a right? practical they're, they're... nuke of content. Yeah. yeah, I think that's like a huge like that's kind of how I'm looking at it. It's like because I can see how <clears throat> shamanism would be really good. And I I really shamaning am by it. Mm. Shamaning, it's <laughs> called shaming, taming, but, but to me, taming, shaming, and sailing. <laughs> shamanism. I think is it shamanism or shamanism? It's shaman if you're British or you're uh, from North America. I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, uh, it's shaman, um, shaman in North America, and shaman if you're British. So. Oh, I yeah, always I call it shaman to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like I, I call it shaman. Yeah, but, shaman. Well, you're from the east originally, Ree, so you know you're closer to me, brother. Oh, but, really? um, no, not really. We're like equally I, distant. What? Equally distant, homie. Know, yeah. Do you want to figure this out? No, like <laughs> trust, trust. I I've looked at geography, mate. We're we're fairly close. No, let me have a look. Because I'm on the are, east side of the US, are. bro. It only takes me six hours to get oh. to the UK. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. either way, I, I yeah, feel whatever. like that's it. I feel like <laughs> sailing feels more substantial. It feels like more of an expansion. Whereas the other two, it, like, it sounds so cool. I really like this skill that we just listened to. But at the same time, like it doesn't feel as grand a scale. And, but and then again... It's, it's smaller. Mm -hmm. I, it's yeah. smaller, it just, but it, does that mean it's safer? You yeah, know, like, no, it's well, not safer there's because less room it's for them DPS. to screw up. Yeah, yeah it DPS is 100%. increase. Yeah. So that's the problem. Like the the rewards from sailing is like amazing. But we don't know how to like how will the training work and obviously like actually moving the boat. That's the problem. With this one, we know how to train it. It's a standard you get 14 of item A and 14 of item B and you combine them together <laughs> like you're smelting same ores. Same old, doing... you know? Yeah, so like that's what it already works. RuneScape people do that all the time, so that's why we know it works. It's so boring. So that's dude. why it's safer, in quotation marks. Yeah, the training so, aspect's me, safer. Yeah, yeah. like, so to, I'll, I'll try and sum up shamanism. You log in on Saturday morning. Let's just title this podcast Saturday morning. You log in. <laughs> you log in Saturday morning. You go and you collect white berries off the ground, and you go to hellhounds and you cut their heads off and yoink their blood and now you got vials of blood hellhound blood and some berries and then you go to an area aka a rune crafting altar and that's where you go to like heart i don't know get the spiritual something maybe you have to like combine them in that area again like a rune crafting altar so you combine those there and now you have these items and then with those items you can do a ritual which is you basically use a tinderbox on a log to light a fire mm. or you're using you know whatever it is like your incense on a thing to create a a shaman circle that's what the skill is it's kind of a combination of a bunch of different things um and then the rewards like what if we don't want them to be able to upgrade torva to have more strength bonus and then what's the reward of the skill there's nothing 
Like, what else are they going to add to it? So I think the yeah. main thing, as somebody, like, again, I like the idea of it, and it would fit, and I'd, I would train it, like, sure. But the main thing that they need to focus on is the spirit realm, for sure. Because that would be pretty darn cool if you could, like, flip between reality and the spirit realm, where the spirit realm is, like, the upside down from uh, oh. Stranger Things. And it's, <laughs> like, in the upside down, there are different monsters. Like, instead of going to the cow pen in Lumbridge and there's a bunch of cows, there's nothing there. But on the street in Lumbridge, there's a bunch of, like, you know, revenant orcs, for example. This is a thrown out example. It's like, there's, like, it's a different world where everything's changed. To me, it sounds like it's you're adding leagues, shattered relics to RuneScape that you can just go into, like the main game, I should say, that you can just go into. It's uh, it's kind of it has potential to be very cool, but mm -hmm. they barely focused on the spirit realm. Yeah, yeah. what if it was, was like, like a little thing, they, side thing? If they if they copied all of Gilinor, every single tile, every building, everything, <laughs> inverted the colors, and then changed up like where the doors on houses are where the shortcuts for agility are. So if like you wanted to run from point A to point B, it's faster to go into the spirit realm, hop over this rock that is actually not there in the main, main game, uh -huh. and then keep going. Like That's what I think shamanism should have focused on and sell a bunch of people on, yeah. um, but they don't. And that's like, the reward should be access to the spirit realm and access to more areas in the spirit realm. And like maybe you can you can live in there longer the higher your level is. Like, if you have 99, you can stay in there for five straight minutes, and then you got to come back up for air, for example. I don't know. Uh -huh. It's just, like, that's what it should be focused on, and they barely scratch the surface in these talks. Again, as they're pitching these three uh, skills, I would call it they world gave diving. minimal <laughs> ideas. Yeah. yeah. World, yeah, world hopping. <laughs> that's a new skill. <laughs> yeah, world hopping. Oh, and then you go to R3. Because, <laughs> so, like, here's back to a previous podcast we were on. It's called This New Skill Will Save Old School RuneScape featuring Flumple. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll card it in up. In that one, I said, top. why not just add, like, shamanism to an island that you can sail to, and then it's just, like, this island is a contained island that you can do all this weird shaman stuff. And on. it'll hint at a future skill. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> that could be, like, that could be a, a five-quest series of, like, learning about this new upside-down world that you can travel to. Um, you know, and it's all, it's just new content. And like, I think shamanism, yeah. shamanism could very easily fit inside of sailing. They don't have to. I don't, I'm not even Everything advocating could. for that. That's yeah. the best yeah. part, right? Yeah. And like, but they, it's, oh, it's so tough. I'm, you can see how passionate I am with it. It's like, mm. it, it works. Yeah. If they said this is the skill and they're like, there's no going back, then it's like, okay, well, I get to do another bank standing skill or another variation of rune crafting where you're going to an altar to imbue two things together like that's what it is and it already has that in runescape so yeah. there's so many of that already no so yeah, that's why sailing is so different so different i want to i want to say that all three ideas could easily be a skill because first of all we have fire making as a skill and yeah. all you literally do is burn a log on the ground or you yeah. or you spend 99 percent of your time in winter tile, which is when people say well, this could have been a mini game. Like, shut up! Fire making is literally a mini game nowadays. So, yep. stop. This this is the stupidest like excuse I've ever heard. Sorry, excuse I've ever heard. So stop using that. Like, I'm telling you, all three really could easily be a skill, right? But like, but like the skills that we currently have, some skills are just far more interesting and diverse and just expansive than other skills. You know. Right, like fire making is probably one of the least inspired skills ever, but hey, it's a skill, it's here to stay. And something like farming, it's a skill, but it's so much more expensive, you know, yeah. than fire making, right? I but think like, there's still a still, already is, you know, farming is tiny, like they could, yeah, they could, they could expand on farming so much mm -hmm. already. And maybe that's like, yeah, you can go into the spirit realm and there's all kinds of new farming patches with so, new resources. So like I guess my point is, yeah, I guess my point is, you know, even in, in our current game, the skills have different, uh, ver uh, different like scopes already, right? Some are insanely basic, but, and some are much more complicated already, right? And, and I think for our first new skill for Old School it should be a very expansive skill, you know, it should be a very ambitious skill where, you know, it's not just like, you know, bank stand or, you know, gather some resources and go to an altar, right? It should be like, you are, you know, like embarking in like a new journey type of thing, you know, really like explore the game in a far deeper level kind of thing, you know, and I think sailing just has a much more of those qualities, you know, it's far more ambitious than the other two. 
without it actually breaking the game, which is fucking rare. Usually, if something is ambitious, it, it will easily break the game in terms of power creep or like destabilize all your old training methods for certain skills or you know your PVM efficiency in certain bosses. But sailing is like expansive without doing any of that. It's just yeah. such a such a win win, you know, right? I I do not want a simple skill like shamanism or or um, taming for for our first one. Like it could be. It, those could be added in the future. I don't mind them in the future per se, but like I don't want something so simple, you know, for the first yeah. one. It, it would be a letdown. To, to be honest with you, I feel like in some ways, like this first pitch has almost like I feel like they kind of failed shamanism with the pitch because they didn't expand enough on what the spiritual yep. realm could be. Because I really think you're right. I think that probably is the selling point here. It's like the most interesting thing about the skill because when you really you know, cut it down to what it is, you're right. It's just like a, any other skill that we already have in the game. It's, it's a mixture of herb lore and rune crafting to me with yeah. maybe, I don't know, like some other aspects in it. Yeah, um, when I was like, watching the video, what, what, it's like, okay, now I need more bank space for all this random items you can't <laughs> trade. Okay, yeah. and then I gotta go get boosted armor or I'm not gonna keep up with the combat. And then the circles are bringing that back from warding, which didn't even pass. <laughs> so the only reason I'm kind of hyped for shamanism now is because of Flop spiritual like fucking inverse runescape idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's, by here's, itself how it. yeah. here's how you here's how you fix all of this stuff. So uh taming, you add it to farming and hunter, for example. Yeah. Um and then you take shamanism and you have a new spell on the Archaeus spellbook that's like a very high level that when you click it, you use, you know, a vial of hellhound blood, which is the example they use, and some, you know, frog spleen. And like you have like three resources in your inventory. Those three resources is what it uses, maybe a couple of runes. It literally, when you cast that spell, you're now in the spirit realm. Like you just like fall through the ground, cool little animation. And now you're upside down and you like a thrall, you have a minute timer, same thing. Like you're, you're like sprinting to try and make it to your shortcut. That's going to save you a bunch of time or you're sprinting to fight this monster that's in there, whatever, like grab a resource. That's what I think they could God. easily, just as easily do. That idea, bro. Imagine you start out as like a little spiritual ball. And the more mm. time you spend in, the more things you do, you level it up. So you can kind of grow like a human spiritual form that unlocks more of what's around you. Oh, and then you can start bringing stuff back once you get a high enough level. That's yeah. the shit they, they need to focus on, man. That's that sounds on awesome, that's the, bro. That's the kind of cool stuff they could have done, right? Where it's like, so for example, you go into the spiritual realm and like, let's say, for example, you can pull out a sword or a bow and it's like, mm. so you have this incredibly powerful thing, but it only lasts for so long. Yeah, like, it doesn't they, they survive didn't... in the regular world. I, I feel like, I feel like sailing in some ways has almost been a curse and i feel like at this point it has to be the skill that comes through into the game first mm. simply because you can tell from the pitch that they've had way longer and way more thought has gone into it and how it could like become so so many other things and it's the same for us because it's obviously been on the minds of players as a new skill since 2015 so it's like whether we want to admit it or not we probably in some way have thought about how could it work in runescape so it's like, I don't think any skill would ever really compare up to it just because of the amount of fault that's gone into it already. Yeah. Um, I feel like shamanism, I think it sounds awesome, but I think that the pitch didn't do it justice. I, I think if they would have pitched it in a way where it's like, you can go into this realm, you can borrow things for a set amount of time. And like, let's say if like people weren't against uh possibly like xp boost so take you back to pre oc stealing creation the rewards from that would be stuff like you can get like a needle that gives yeah. you like bonus xp when you're doing crafting it's like imagine if you could borrow that from shamanism but like then the community wouldn't like bonus xp because we know how that goes i don't know it's like i, I, I feel I like it has, to be yeah. sailing. it has to be sailing because everybody's thought about it for so long at this point it's just so a question counter... of whatever it's a question of whether the community are ready for it or not, I think. Yeah. And I personally the, think the community is for a new skill. The counter, uh, the counter argument to you saying like they haven't had enough time to think about it, I think with shamanism, like they've got the Discord server with 10,000 people. They've got their polling system. So they do have, like they're going to get a lot of voices on how to make shamanism better. I just think some people are less creative 
right? They don't think of the scope of the spirit realm. So like they need to make sure they hear that someone brings that up and they actually focus on it. Otherwise, it's just another 14 by 14 skill that you grab your resources, you mix them together. Like they, they definitely need to focus on the, the bigger aspect. And basically, we look at these skills, taming, I think most people agree that's like third, third place. These two are kind of like head and head, head to head right now. And it's mm -hmm. like, you could add both. Just add one in 2024 yeah. and add the next one in 2025. Bro, I would be so <laughs> I would be so okay with that. 2026, I, I think we should split it up a bit longer. I think yeah. one I, yeah, one year dude, is not I enough. Think, I think there should be a poll that's done, which is like, if it's really close between the two, they should do a follow-up poll, which is, how would you feel if we were to re-poll or continue working on the other skill yeah. and plan to release it in the future? Because I, I, I can see both of these though. being good. Yeah. Oh, not not taming. I agree. Also, shamanism I, I, has a lot more potential. What's I don't like, want to. We need a reward from shamanism because I'm immediately yeah. voting no to upgrading my Torva. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. Like, I don't want so that. So what's the like? What's the purpose of the skill? Whereas Jeez. sailing, it's all about the reward. You get to grow mushrooms, bro. Yeah, you, that's sick. you can already time. do that with farming. <laughs> nah, that's true. So, yeah. so here's here's another element to think of that I um I've sat here thinking about for like the last well since we've been watching the videos is how inclusive are these new skills. To the entire player base and what i mean by that is i instantly go to and it's probably because i was a pkr for so long i think about pkrs and i think how are they going to benefit from the skill are they going to even enjoy it are they going to partake in it is there going to be any benefit to these players and when i think about it like sailing has the potential to have a pvp appeal like they've already stated like you can have pvp battles i, I was speaking about it earlier so do you know the wilderness ditch imagine if they were to effectively in in some way continue that across the entire world map and it's like okay so as soon as you go above that even if you're sailing if you go above that ditch you are yeah. now in enemy territory you can be attacked by other players mm -hmm. and it's like where exactly with shamanism is there that kind of a pill for that entire community of pvpers to really want to do it out of just being able to enjoy their thing in the game further and like have more of like a deeper you know uh, have a connection with it i i feel like shamanism doesn't necessarily have that or at least you've got to think outside the box whereas with sailing it's pretty simple there's pirates there's the wilderness you can go above the ditch you can kill people take their boats take their loot you know mm. so i feel like that's quite a big thing like if, if you think about it like that like if pvpers and let's say there's i don't know ten thousand pvpers maybe i'm being generous with that number <laughs> it's like do you really think they're gonna do you really think they're gonna be bothered about going to the fucking shadow realm where they can <laughs> like smoke weed with fucking joe rogan and just speak to, like a free-headed fucking deer probably not first and they can see his name rogan bro <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's, it's dude it's like a, it's like a goat with three <laughs> eyes and it's just sat there with like eight arms yeah. yeah that'd be like i don't know like it sounds cool i want it just because to be honest i want to go to fucking mu mushroom meadow and just listen to like melancholy Hill, like we're listening to fucking metal. plays. But like, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody that is into like PvP, and maybe I'm maybe I'm misspeaking here, but I I don't. I just feel like there's way more appeal for sailing, and like they can tie it into almost like an entire other part of a community, which other like PvPers for the most part just want to PvP. You know, that's it. Like, am I wrong by saying that, Mint? Would you would you say that's a pretty accurate representation of the PvP community? They just want to PvP, and that's it. If you put someone in front of them with mystics on, they pretty much salivate. So yeah, they just yeah. anything in front of them. For sure. So like wow. from that alone, I feel like sailing has like a kind of a massive advantage just because I can't imagine them voting for anything else. I think I think Jagex knows that sailing is their strongest skill overall, and they just want to. In in a way, it's like a psychological, uh, you know, like a strategy for them is that they will place two pretty decent ideas in front of it and then make people realize that what the fuck why would i not fall for sailing you know basically i think that's kind of <laughs> like the idea you know because like i'm looking at these and i'm trying my best and like i'm acknowledging my bias and all that but i'm looking at these two skills i'm like you know these two skills are like of the same level as something like farming in this game or like um i don't know smithing or you know what i mean something like that right it's, it's like of a similar level of like you know complexity and like the things that it could impact in in the game but then you have something like sailing which is like fucking tiers above 
all of those and it's so much more epic and ambitious you know and it really it expands, like expands the game like it really yeah. it really truly like immersively expands the game you know right because then you get to like interact with a piece of piece of like kind of like setting right environment that you couldn't before which is water you know right like yeah. how do you have an mmo but not fucking be able to do anything on water basically right so that's kind of like I, wow how know? do we have an mmo where right. like the most like meta way of moving is just a run it's like yeah. we even have horses like we don't have anything that we can like traverse the terrain in any different way aside from moving slowly moving slightly faster or just like teleporting somewhere there's no other transportation unless you're looking at like magic magic carpets or whatever but yeah like, yeah yeah for real, but this like, is a whole different way to play the game and experience the game yeah exactly like think about it like water or swimming and stuff that's like a very primitive stuff you know and that's what this game is right at, at its core it's medieval primitive shit right and like yeah. we can finally do that one core part of living as like people back in those days which is being able to fucking do something in water <laughs> you know we right? just need, like, void. Yeah. We just need uh, void to yell across the boats as we're sailing by yeah, hey! like, yeah exactly <laughs> it's like it's time to move beyond just an npc getting you through the water to you doing it yourself mm -hmm. you know right like yeah. That's huge. That's yeah. a, that's a huge thing immersion immersion wise that we can have. So I think the I mean, only box that sailing doesn't tick, like it ticks all the boxes except for the box that is it sailing. Like yes, it's sailing. Therefore, a lot of people are voting no just based on the name and yeah, it's the meme exactly. I'm it. telling you, it's the, so the like, meme. Again, part. there was you know content creators on Twitter and Reddit did the poll like what do you want and majority of people voted shamanism. And I think it's because from our perspective, we look at sailing and our brains are like, look at all this content potential. They don't talk about any of that in this skill pitch video or in the blog that they posted, because again, they kept it to the, the core concept and that's it. So people look at it and they're like, okay, what do I know about sailing? And that's what they think. And Small what have they said brain. sailing will be? Well, they didn't say what it is going to be. And they didn't tell us what the rewards are. So sailing is going to be like bone voyage. I don't want that. <laughs> Vote no. Like that's where we're at currently. Yeah, I hope not. So it's it's tough. They've got yeah. to go to the refinement stage with two of these three, which is going to have to be sailing. Do, like they got to do it for sailing and for shamanism. Refine both of them. Give everyone the yeah, facts. I think that's when things let will people play a beta for both, yeah. and then let people decide. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, yeah. Because yeah. at this point, shamanism's ahead by a lot of the polls I've seen based on the fact that they know what it is and they know how it's going to work and you tell them they're going to get their Torva upgraded Ugh, by so pouring Hellhound cringy, blood on man. it. And yeah, they're it's like, a, oh, let's take so that. So cringy. It's definitely yeah. a safe bet, isn't it? Like, that's probably why people find it. Because they can, they can understand it, like the concepts and stuff. But yeah. I don't know, there's just something that's like new and exciting about the sailing. It, it is. Could, could, could be good. And hey, equally, it could be, it could be bad. Like, they might release it, and it's literally like, oh my god, what the fuck have we voted for? Yeah, yeah it like, depends on what they the actually add, bro. So. Yeah. I don't think so, because no matter no matter how you train sailing, which they've said, you're not going to get XP every tick your boat moves in the ocean. Like, you're going to get XP yeah. for completing an encounter. So that's where it's like, okay, that's, that's how you, that's what's the fun part about it. Moving, people aren't excited to move a boat. I'm not excited to well, log in and run. I am. Like, that's the, that's the equivalent. But it mm. fits it's the a interactions that's, that's like this should have been here from day one the ability to yeah. just jump in a boat and move you know like so, teleportation could have been the this update this could have been a skill about teleportation but huh. sailing had always been there right so mm -hmm. i i've got it right here so what what they basically say in the blog post we can go over this or we can just discuss it like we are now so they basically said <clears throat> the original pitch for sailing basically the way that they pitched the best way to get xp which I think was quite a uh, small brain at the time was to effectively have it like you build the boat. Like that's yeah. your biggest XP. <laughs> build 10,000 boats. It's construction yeah. too. Or, or, or yeah, or yeah, construction. Exactly. So what they've said now is they've gone back to the board. They want most of the XP. Or these are the ideas they've come up with so far for deep, deep sea fishing, hunting elusive sea creatures, navigating challenges where you navigate the ship across some sort of obstacle or threat. Sepulchre. The, Deliveraging packages from A to B and 
uncovering new islands to explore. Okay? Yeah, I think it should come down to completing certain missions and uh, and exploration and like discovering new places. You know, that should be kind of like the two big ones. You know, just like fishing yeah. or like delivering uh, resources. You know, or like, uh, you know, um, or like what? What else is there? Like defeating a pirate crew, right? Like because you're on a mercenary mission. Like I feel like that's all mission stuff, and then yeah. explore uh, like finding new lands. I feel like that that'd be like <clears throat> its own thing. Yeah, right, so, you get a so lot of XP if, for that. If we something, look at yeah, go. I'll let you go first. I'll okay. refine my thoughts here, and then I'll go after. Something something they did mention was that they were open to the possibility of having a way to, to tra traverse through sailing that isn't just point and clicking. Because obviously, if you think about it, if they're going to make the terrain so it's like waves and ocean, etc., like just being able to click through it's going to be a bit weird. So they were talking about WASD on the keyboard to be able to move around. Mm -hmm. Now, to be honest with you, I like the idea of that, but that's coming from somebody who's played a lot of games where I have to use WASD. Believe it or not, there are a lot of people that play RuneScape what that is, only yeah. play RuneScape. And I, I think that mm -hmm. that could potentially be something that's a bit off-putting to people if they feel like maybe that's something they need to be good at in order to enjoy that skill. But then again, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Like, but I, I think uh, so. I think navigation Honestly. should work a few ways because you know that's just how it needs to be. You know, just just as how somebody prefers to camera angle with their mouse wheel versus someone using WSD or arrow keys. I think I think yeah. F keys is a really good um, or F keys. Yeah, even an example. They should definitely. You, you can effectively play with just your mouse, but if you use your F keys. Like you've got an advantage exactly. because it's faster, right? It's it's basically the same thing. I think that's probably a good. Yeah, they need to example. have a few ways of going about it. You know, um, I think definitely you need the option to have some sort of, you know, like interface, right? You yep. also need to have the option of point and click because this game is point and click, so you must include that 100. percent And you also, uh, well, the point and click will then, exp you know, then be expanded upon, like, um, you know, like like uh, Flample says you know, uh, what do you call it? the sales and stuff, right? You can like right click the sales and adjust it and do that. You can do that kind of stuff too, right? But I, but I think you need to have actually all of those things because, you know, otherwise I I, I think it would it will fall short, you know? I think that's yeah. just yeah. too crucial. Like you need my, to have them uh, all. My, my thought for sailing and why it's the, the best option is because, okay, I've written down, if you're a skiller, like, yeah, it's a skill. You could exclusively just sail on the ocean and avoid all combat, and you're good. Um, if you want to do PVM, you could exclusively sail the boat to an island where there's a boss and do the boss fight. And maybe it's like there's literally a bank on that island. Like, you just stay there for a week while you farm Muspa 2, for example, and it's just on this island. If you want to do PvP, there will be an option for PvP, whether it's a mini game that uses boats that fight each other, like LMS, something like that, or above this line of the wilderness, it's free game, which I think is the cooler idea. Um, there's going to be options to train it like AFK. So, for example, people talk about contracts. You could just repeat the same contract over and over again. You get 30k XP an hour. You click and your boat starts moving and it's a straight line because it's the easiest contract. That's an example. Um, if you want to pay to win kind of thing, like GP to speed the skill up, you could just buy a sick boat and just go. Or you're like, you know what, no, I'm going to build my own boat and like customize it and you just like keep bringing more logs from the bank and planks and nails, whatever. Um, there should be options to like have it so not tick manipulate. I don't want people on their boat with a teak log and a, and a friggin' You imagine just going faster? Yeah, like, it's like, it's like no, there, should, there should be a method that's like the fastest XP per hour, but it's like you are giving up money, like you're you're losing coins from it. Maybe you're hiring the best crew and they're super expensive, but they're a little faster. Or you're, uh, you know, you're giving up, okay, here's this accounter that is going to give me two mil cash. Skip it. It's not good XP. Go to the ones that are good XP. Like there's got to be like a balance for every player type. This one can offer that, right? Like, you could have people who can just AFK on mobile at work while they work their full-time job and have six kids at home that they have to go feed. While they're at work, they can just, like, do the easy contracts to get some XP and max the skill. You can have ways where it's, like, you know, reclined but half paying attention, kind of like rooftops where it's, like, repetitive, but you can kind of get in the groove. And then the tick manipulation. Like, you can have all of this with sailing. 
everyone can be satisfied in one way or the other. It's just a matter of the actual concept of being on a boat in the ocean is scaring some people off. Otherwise, it's a slam dunk. Like, mm. it'll fit everything. You can't really offer that exploration and excitement with something like taming. Like, you can't. Like, it's just, it's, it's not there. And you don't have all It's just too basic of a skill. For, yeah, it's too basic. Yeah. I, I also think the biggest thing with taming, again, I'm just jumping into taming, is like, it's it sounds like daily scape. Like, yeah, my dragon's going to be hungry once a day, so I'm going to have to <laughs> constantly feed it. Like... How do you just not have that? Like, it just wouldn't make sense if that wasn't the case. So, to me, I see taming as being Gertrude's Cat 2 quest and just leave it Rat at that. Rat catchers <laughs> too. Yeah. fuck me. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think uh... I think that's why sailing excites us, is, like, the possibilities are endless. You're going to have a ton of content with it. Like, anything new, like, you could have, okay, guaranteed every four months there's a sailing expansion from now until the end of time. You know, like they've promised with quest speed running every three months, they add more. Besides the point. Yeah. Um, but that's what they could do is like, yeah, we're adding more islands every four months. And it's like this super fun event every four months where everyone's crowded around their computer watching Wooks discover the new islands that has a new boss, new drops. And all, everything could be self contained to just upgrading your boat or being fashion scape for your boat. Like, that's, you don't need to touch the main game at all with this, but it'd still be fun. And all that stuff. Like, if it was a mini game, and they said, "Okay, it's between adding as a skill and not," and it fails as a skill, but still all comes into the game, I'd still be happy. Like, you're getting a ton of content. You're getting a cool. It's bigger than a mini game. It's bigger than friggin' RuneScape together. All like all of it together right now. So, I don't yeah. know. It's it's a slam dunk. Other than the fact that people are scared of like, what, you know, how am I going to navigate and why is it on a boat? So, like, you know, something I think would be which would make sailing like really appealing to me is if so for example if one of the best ways to gain sailing xp is to traverse really difficult seas right so say for example imagine there's like shipwreck cove or something and it's like you go into it and it's all bendy it's tight and like to get through it is incredibly difficult and and say for example like i imagine it like this you have different tiers of boats right you have boats that you can sell as a one-man job you got boats you can sell with like small teams big teams etc like if they were to make it so obviously the xp would scale depending on the team that you're with and obviously the the team that you're with more people equals more mistakes more chance of getting no xp so it'd have to work like that if they were to make it so that was a really good way to train your sailing was by skillfully getting through really difficult encounters mm -hmm. i think that would be amazing but it would all depend on how they make the interaction with sailing itself mm -hmm. because if it's not good mm -hmm. if, it, if it wouldn't feel skillful in order to get through like a terrain like that then I don't think people would care and it'd be stupid. But if they made it so it was really difficult and it was like, holy shit, I just got through there. Almost like to the equivalent of like having to pray flick on like your last prayer point to be able to kill Zuck kind of intensity, maybe down a little bit from that. But like my point is like that kind of skill level, that would be awesome. Like that would be sick. Give a variety of ways to train. You can turn your brain off, deliver parcel from A to B island, you know, or maybe make it so to get to that second island, it's like you have to do one of those terrain courses. And maybe if you want, you can have your friends join you and it mm -hmm. makes it a little bit more complicated, but there's a bigger reward at the end, you know, more loot or whatever. Like I, so I hope I'm we could picturing. watch that go down. Could you imagine you're in Cather BD just fishing <laughs> and there's like a, a, a course in front of you that's super dangerous and all day yeah. you're just watching people crash their boat fail on that course day one? Yeah, I just hope you could watch something like can, that. Can I'm sure it'll be instance, that? but can you imagine that in like pirate territory? So basically wilderness. So you're doing all of that and then some dickheads there in his boat, like shooting his cannon at you. But like you get the <laughs> best XP in game for getting through or some shit, you know? Like it could no. be sick. So, yeah, I'm be. picturing uh, like there's an island that takes two minutes to get to in this like really cool boat. You get your, your big ass boat there because it's like, you know, in the middle of the giant ocean, you need a big boat because otherwise you're, anyways, you get to the island, you dock that boat you build a smaller secondary boat or it's already there because you've built it before you jump in that one that's like easier to maneuver and it's a solo boat you leave everyone else behind yeah you maneuver stuff i'm picturing like a kind of like sepulcher i guess maybe where you're you know you're jumping through some rocks and like navigating while getting attacked by like jad 
you're switching prayers, but instead of switching prayers, maybe there's like protection spells that you can cast on your boat of some sort that like, okay, I know I'm going to this island, there's going to be dragon fire, so I'm going to like add a bunch of anti-fire to my boat. I don't know, so, it, ton of possibilities. While you're like, your boat is getting damaged, you're trying to quickly patch up the holes. You're trying to keep it going. You're trying to navigate it, trying to patch up the holes, trying to, you know, say it's Jad, it's switching between attack styles, whatever. There's a dragon that's attacking you and you're trying to, like, there's so many things that you could do. You could also be fighting back by like, okay, turn on the, set up this cannon and start shooting back. And then as it gets close to like your boat, you know, going down, you could jump ship and now you're swimming the rest of the way or like you, you, you get on the side of the land and build up another one quickly and keep going. I feel like that sounds like a raid to me. Like, that's like a full kind of like, you know, that could be a raid where it's a final boss fight that you're kind of trying to do that. But again, so many possibilities. There, they, there's so much they could do with it. And it's just a matter of will they will they deliver? Do other people want that sort of stuff? Um, yeah, it's so tough. So, so I'm, we already I'm threw, for it. already threw away uh, all other skills in sailing then, right? We all agree. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> well, it's going to be I mean, sailing. And, I, I'm, I'm, saying, saying, I'm still saying if they want to add sailing and shamanism with more to shamanism go for it yeah. like yeah give me sailing first mm -hmm. i'd agree i i think um as long as it's not the first one that comes into the game i will actively do the skill and i'll be happy like it, yeah. it's for either of them for me are good to be honest and i just hope that if the votes are really close for both uh shamanism and for sailing that they potentially say that they're gonna go ahead with the one that has more votes but then they're gonna revisit the one just before in the future because yeah i think both of these skills would make great additions to the game yeah, yeah. And, and props to the j mods for putting this together i mean it's kind of cool to be able to just sit here and have it explained to us so thoroughly and the the process itself is not unenjoyable it's like it's an enjoyable process all three of those skills were pretty decent right sailing yeah. obviously we're all biased towards it but I would like to see this kind of professionalism, you know, they usually are obviously, but going forward with other things too. Uh, the winter summit was great. This is great. I just like where we're going in general. I enjoy the momentum. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. you can see how much traction it's giving like the, you know, Reddit, Twitter, everything's blowing up YouTube, tons of videos coming out right now with all the content creators giving their thoughts and their bias towards which one they like. Like it's, it's kind of cool having, a divide in the community between two skills and then maybe a couple people who like taming like mm. it's uh it, yeah, it's, yeah it's we're in a cool spot for sure i do think yeah i'm just waiting for I mean, that they got, civil they gotta, war they gotta put a beta <laughs> out for these i think they gotta, getting, beta, they gotta put a beta for sure i'm getting yeah. those early league vibes remember it's like oh are you a walker you yeah. dirty piece of you yeah. know it's like oh you're, you're this guy yeah. i remember those and it would be like a fight i'm getting those vibes right now yeah. and I, I think that's where our community comes to shine when we hate each other but with like a sense of pride. I don't know. I, yeah, it's I a really little banner. Want, yeah. I really want a league where there's team red and team blue. <laughs> and when you when you log in, you're just put on a team. So there's gonna be a hundred thousand people on team red and your best friends on, on the opposite team. Like, and then Fuck. at the end of the league, yeah, you just see okay, team red had one point six million leagues points and team blue had one point five nine million. Like that would be the most fun, like event ever if they had like a well, league you know where the they teams are gonna the be teams. they're all gonna join one side somehow make an account over and over because that's yeah. what they do right and then they're yeah, just one side's gonna have everything and but, that's, uh, leagues. That's, that's the beauty of leagues is it doesn't affect the main game it's just for fun like let them do what they, they want to do yeah they're gonna they cheat they're gonna ddos the red team server they're gonna <laughs> oh my god they please can. don't yeah i mean yeah. Speaking, yeah. speaking of leagues if they were to do one like between now and the release of whatever the new skill is, like, yeah, how would you guys, how would you guys feel if they were to just add the skill in there, like a limited version they... of the skill? Like, say they release um, sailing on there. I wish yeah, they I could, mind. but it mind. seems improbable with yeah. the resources they have. But I wish they would. They, they, they've they guaranteed would. that they will have a beta for sailing and for whatever, yeah. whatever goes forward. Yeah, I don't think that the beta should be leagues, mm. for example. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like it's a good, it's a good thought when you think about it. Yeah, it'd be cool, but also it's like, I think that ruins the excitement of the day one experience, right? Yeah. And I honestly feel like you know, on day one, whatever the new skill is, when you open that skill tab, you know, and you click on it, and it brings up like, oh, at level ninety nine, you can do this. 
I think it should just say level 99 question mark, question mark, question mark. You don't know what it is until someone's unlocked it. Like, it just, like, stays hidden. So that's, like, again, I love the sailing aspect where you don't know what's out there. They should keep it secret, keep it hidden. Everyone's watching, you know, all the top live streamers, like Rakesy and Rice Cup and maybe Mint Mad Cow, and they're all, like, looking at them, and it's like, man, what, okay, they're, they're like, level 72, and I'm level 16. Like, what are they at now? Like, how, where does this skill go? Like, they can, they don't know until they, like, see it for themselves. I think that would just be such a good, um, big, you know, week for runescape for in general like yeah. it's massive as people are getting through the first you know first person to get 99 yeah keep the wiki a secret keep the skill a secret for like what you can actually unlock definitely so, they have to tell us with these before we vote it in but um that would just be so cool just, just so everybody who's watching is aware uh so if any of you guys are wondering where we're at in terms of the process with this new skill coming into the game so we're at step three which is just the skills being pitched uh, basically what we're going to be voting for now, the polls that are coming out, you're going to vote for which one of the free skills you liked the most. The one that basically wins, the one that takes the crown, is then going to be refined. So they're going to go into way more detail about it. They're really going to knuckle down with all of the fine details, and we're going to find out all the all, all the little things. Yeah. Um, then the skill gets locked in, and after it gets locked in, we then try the beta. And I don't know if there's any coming back from the beta. It doesn't seem like there is, but we're currently on step three of six. So yeah. if Again. it gets to the point when they've refined it and we don't like the look of it, which is going to be... Well, actually, there's, really there's, uh, there's quite a lot of steps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> I'm worried we get yeah. stuck. Yeah. As a community, I'm worried. Like, what are they... Are they going to do a 51% pass rate? Like... Because I don't know if any of the skills are going to have that. There's going to be a divide, right? So that's why oh, I yeah. think they should refine two skills, in this case, shamanism and sailing. They should lock in two skills and give a beta with two skills. Maybe it's a tiny little beta, and like that gives you a taste, and then you lock in the skill, and then you do a full beta for like the bigger skill like aspects of it. And just like a hundred question poll where they're pulling every little tiny aspect. Like, what do you want the experience rates to be? How do you think about this little mini quest to kick it off? How do you think about this? Like, that's where they got to get into those details. But yeah, for now, I'm worried, like, you know, if it's shamanism gets locked in, like, there's no going back at that point. And what if we don't like it and we want to go, no, like abort mission, we want sailing instead. Like, it's tough. It's a, it's a good process they got going on. They've clearly thought it through, but I'm, uh, I think you should be able to refine yeah, we gotta have two refined for sure. Like, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I, I think what they'll probably do, right, is you're gonna vote on the free that you want. And yeah. then let's say one of them gets, I don't know, one gets 40%, the next one gets 30%, and whatever the next one gets adds up to 100%. So they're gonna yeah. take the one with the highest percentage and they're just gonna roll with that. I'm guessing that's how they're planning yep, to do it. That's how they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not going to be like a 70% pass thing or anything like that. That's the but... hard part. So if if that's what it is, say it's 40 and 30 are the top two, at that point, you've got, if it's 40 is the top, you've got 60% of the community doesn't want that, right? Yeah. Why are you adding that skill? <clears throat> oh, but that's the no, thing. Actually... That's, that's the whole thing with the way that they're implementing this skill, which is an entire entirely different conversation. No, I think, I think, it, it, they, I think it's going to be... They've effectively trapped us as a community in a sense of forcefully pushing our hands to a new skill. Because yeah. the original question to get all the all of this rolling was, do you want a new skill? The answer is yes. After that, it's Pandora's yeah, fucking Yeah, that's what I was telling the community that's what I was not trying to agree. tell people, you know? We do not agree on this shit, so mm -hmm. it's just going to be so interesting to see because um, it might literally there... get to a point where they're like, wow, you said you want this. When fifty percent of the player yeah, base, so there is like, a yeah, way. No. There is a way to make this a little nicer, though, is that they can do rank choice voting. So that means you would rank your favorite, uh, you know, the skill that you would prefer as the highest yeah. and lowest priority. So that way, even if the first, you know, even if like the overall, uh, you know, poll says, uh, you know, forty percent says that one skill, if you do by rank choice, you could see that actually a majority of players are down for A or B. And then A, it just ended up being overall higher, you know? I think yeah. that's probably what they... I, I mean, I hope that's what they're doing, because if they're not doing that, then it's going to be, like, kind of dumb that they're not doing that, because they really should, you know? They really I, should have ranked choice voting for this one. 
So. I think there should be a, you know, instead of a three options, it should say, I want, you know, you know, whatever it is. I want sailing and I do not want either of the other two. Or I want sailing and I would be happy with shamanism, but not, like, there should be, like, yeah, 15 different options. Yeah. So, and then they I'll can be, actually get some proper data. Yeah. I'll, I'll read this I'll read this out for you just so yep. we, we, we have the information, so we may as well. So the question one that we're going to be asked, <laughs> after reading the new skill pitch blog, which concept, in S brackets mm. for a new skill in old school RuneScape, would you be happy to see refined? Yeah, that's rank choice. That's rank right? choice right there. Mm -hmm. Sailing, taming, shamanism. Well, that one, you can I pick didn't... multiple, right? Yeah, because it says parentheses S, right? Yeah. So it's rank choice then in that case, basically. Okay. Or a form it says, of it. I didn't like any of them or skip. And then the mm -hmm. next question is, which new skill pitch is your favorite? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then the last question, would you be interested in filling out a survey to provide any additional <laughs> feedback? Yeah, so there's rank choice in there, which is good because that means there w there should be a skill that, like, hopefully by the end of it, a majority of the players will, will be okay with, you know? I just, yeah. yeah. But it's I not want guaranteed. there to be a final. It's I want not there guaranteed. to be a last question. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's say this is a year from now when they've, like, finished. I want the last question to be, Okay, do we add this? Yes or no? And if it's no, then they go back to refinement and keep trying. And then maybe they have like a limit. We'll try it three times. If it fails three times, no. Oh, that's that's, like, gonna that's hurt where them. it should be. Dude, they're going to yeah, be so 100%. tired from Man. that, though. But That's what we <laughs> got to do, though. Because what if it's... What if, like, that's what you're saying. We're locked in right now. They should still have the option to job. say, never mind. Yeah. They've got they such a... a they, they have got a difficult job. But the thing is, they, they said originally, if they get to the point of doing the beta... Yeah. They haven't said that they wouldn't go back on it because this yeah. did come up. Like I remember Aiza answered the question and the question was like, what if we get to the beta and we don't like it? And he was like, well, I'd hope by the time we get to beta, you guys would be past the point of not liking it. But there is a reality where we could end up not liking it, or at least a lot of people could. Yeah. But this, Listen, this, I, is, yeah. this is I'm the problem. I'm all for sailing, but if I try a beta that's WASD and I don't like that, like I don't yeah. want it. But that point is too late because they've already put it in beta. Like, you know, that's what I'm... Well, the no, they'll do, they'll do I multiple think it'll be betas. Fine with I'm sure but... they'll do multiple betas where they change it up a lot. Yeah, you know? they'll have a closed beta, I imagine, so, for like yeah. a couple hundred people. And then they'll have like a, a full size beta, which will be in like crazy. Um, but uh, yeah. yeah, anyways, it's. I mean, we're yeah. past the point now of are we getting a new skill? Like, mm. dude, we've the, the community's answered. They said yes, we want yeah. a new skill. It's just a question of. Is that skill, like for Jagex, the reality is, right, let's say there's 50% of the player base that want it in the end, and 50 that don't. Are those 50% that don't want it going to leave the game? And then I guess mm -hmm. that's where you need to think about how intrusive is this new skill on the entire game. And hey, man, sailing sounds pretty cool, because that shit's tucked away at sea. Like, you yeah. know, you don't have to walk by no fucking goats with free eyes or anything like that. <laughs> or like little fucking Bulbasaurs following people around. Like, uh, it's, nah, it's, or like it's Bandos that, that has like a glow up, you know? <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah. No, the biggest thing the biggest thing with shamanism to me is is exactly that i don't i want don't it want to, to see touch that gear yeah i don't like, want it no i i don't we, i'm okay with from, kids you know but we not go this from bandos bandos to torva is what two strength bonus on each piece mm -hmm. and that is like a 500 hour investment That's of cool. time or a billion coins as a main right? yeah what you're just gonna pour some hellhound blood on it and now it's got another two strength bonus yeah no, don't, don't do we that don't, we don't know the details yet i'm yeah. just spitballing what i think is they're going down and mm -hmm. it's like that's no we gotta we gotta respect the power creep on that and that yeah. should just not happen that can't be a thing oh. i will not allow it <laughs> yes <laughs> i oh, seriously man. don't do it i i think at this point to be honest with you and obviously i'm very biased when i say this but i feel like if sailing doesn't get the majority on this I truly think with all of I'm the not, detail it's not gonna look they good. put into this, I think it's a case of, like, you're right, I think maybe people are not very happy with just the name of sailing, and mm. because it was a meme previously, yeah, because that's what I'm trying there's, to so much, there's so much more detail in this that they've gone into, I feel, and more expansive fault for sailing than the other one. Uh, and shamanism, I think, is fantastic. I would love it to be a skill or at least explored and put into a beta, but it even it kind of seems to me that even they don't fully understand where it can go. That's yeah. kind of the takeaway I get from it. I think the first skill, and I don't want to shit on it too much, but in honesty, when you compare it to the other two pitches, like I feel like that's just somebody who showed up for the day. I don't know if they just need 
absurd idea or something, but like yeah. I think it has well, a lot of you potential. Can you imagine if that passes? Oh my god, wouldn't that be a plot twist if we get fucking Tamanism or whatever it's called? Like, no. holy shit, bro! It's taming, oh it's taming, uh, tamingism. -ism. What's yeah. it? What's that actually called? I mean, it's, it's called taming. A... It's called taming. taming. Okay, taming. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, it's here's the three names. They gotta change the three names. You've got summoning, like just call it that. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got you've got uh, you know boating. Caring. Or boating, I'm back. Ex Boater. Expeditioning. Yeah. Expeditionism. I, I like I like third, voyaging though. The third Virgin's one good. is smoke weed every day for twenty blaze. Smoke that's, weed. Those every are the three. Day. Hippieism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hippieism. Yeah. That's it, man. Yeah. yeah Do you, you know why? Nineteen seventies skill. <laughs> I had somebody in my <laughs> chat today, and they were like, you know, they made a point. They said, you know, I don't understand with sailing why they'd limit it to sailing. Why couldn't it be? exploration uh, and then you'd start yeah. talking about like the sky and stuff mm. and i was like well here's the thing like no this is why sailing probably fits because historically when you look at this game it's a medieval game yeah. what's been around since the medieval time yeah sailing right yeah. and i said flying which is what you're referring to with your hot air balloons because that's what they were talking about i was like it's more of a modern concept and it doesn't necessarily fit so well they have the it in already. <laughs> they yeah. already have they flying. With the they, have <laughs> yeah. they have ballooning. They have ballooning. They have magic and, carpet. And the gnome in. glider stuff. They have. They've got the glider. It. There it is. No. Well, but that like, that, that should be its own skill because, dude, fucking going <laughs> they in the air. Make flying. Dude, flying go, should be the next one. Only going in the air is a completely different occupation. You know, mm. right? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, bro. Yeah, it's different, man. If ever, mate, turn this into like Guild Wars Two, and everybody gets a glider, and everyone's just like gliding around yeah. in two years' time. Watch just it happen, carpets. bro. Oh it's why, crazy. dude? Why didn't they just call the skill seafaring, motherfucker? Like, come on, dude. Seafaring, yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, that sounds Let's like it's such a good skill, seafaring. I think they, I think they had, they had a discussion about this, and they're like, "Fuck it, we're calling it sailing." No, they're idiots. That is what it is. They're idiots. That is what it is. And there's yeah. no way around it. They're like, idiots. Just, I'm sorry. To every, no, I think just there's a small amount of people that actually care that it's called sailing, and those are the people who. No matter what you say to them, they didn't want it anyways. Mm, I think that's maybe. that's the approach they've taken. Whereas shamanism, that was like they went into a random word generator and just picked yeah, they're like Chat GPT, give me a yeah. name for this. You know, they're like yes. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, seafaring sounds way cooler, man. There should be a there should be a poll question that they put out where it says, should we let Chat GPT build the skill. a new skill for us? <laughs> Oh, and whatever it spits out is what we get. Yeah. The so almighty chat I, I yeah. really, I really do feel, though, we're, we're kind of at a point where sailing does need to be the first skill. It should. It just, should, man. I'm trying to it, get into the waters, man. It, it's even from, like, a philosophical standpoint of just, like, people have had more time to just think about it and think it over and, like, mm. ways that it could actually be in the game and such. And like you can tell from the pitch that they've done that they've given it a lot more thought, I think, than either of the other two. Yeah, I, yeah I think yeah, that yeah. shows. Like easily shows. Um So say uh I, I have an older brother. He played in two thousand ten with me, like and before that. If I was playing RuneScape and I'm say like I'm doing I'm in, enjoying sailing and he comes over and unexpectedly and he starts watching my screen. And he sees me doing sailing, he'll be like, oh, that, like, that's cool, tell me about it, like, explain it to me. And then maybe he gets like, oh, that's interesting, I want to try it. Hey, guess what? Free membership during the week of release, like, go try it out. That's, anyways, if I was doing shamanism, he wouldn't even know it's a new skill. He would have no idea, yeah. and he also wouldn't care. He's like, well, I'm not Is logging in to try shamanism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that, to me, that's, that's where my priorities lie, is like, how exciting is this? Do people, are they going to enjoy it? I don't see how you could actively like, you know, get hyped up to do some shamanism, even though I think it's a good skill that could fit, oh, right? It completely depends. The pitch was weak, man. Like, I think, dude, imagine, I, I just, for some reason, when we were talking about it, we we're talking about dipping into this other spiritual realm. Yeah. I had a, an imagination for like the trailer of it. And it's some dude fucking chasing somebody in the wilderness. And this guy is like trying to fucking dip into the other realm. To like yeah. pull out some badass shield to defend against the attack. It's like it could have been done in a really cool way. They could have done it in a way where it's like there's yin and yang. There's the fucking hippie side, but there's also the demonic demon side where you can pull out like a fucking demon blade and mm. it's just gonna annihilate shit. But like they just didn't explore it. I feel like the pitch was weak. 
compared to sailing. If sailing feels like an expansion. This feels like an update. I think That's sailing's pitch thing. was was equally as weak in in what they've shown and it still gave more but i think that's what the, this is what this pitch was they've intentionally taken all details out of it and given you like the tiniest little sample and that's the dangerous part of this is that like you do need to give those details before people choose if they want to refine it or not but it's too late with that said um thought that i had for the spirit realm what if and again i don't even okay. think this is a good idea what if the spirit realm was just hard mode runescape <laughs> so as soon as you step in everything's the same but everything's like three times as hard and you can create gear that buffs your character up to being able to take on these things so you can use your shamanism skill to upgrade your gear that only affects your gear in the spirit realm to fight a grardor that's level 2500 as opposed to 700 for example that was just a thought that i had where i was like there's so much potential for the spirit realm but that's the same with with sailing like you could just the spirit realm is just new places to go and new ways of interacting with it same with sailing new places to go ways to interact with it that's why taming is like off of our minds because there's nothing new with it it's just a thing follows you around and buffs your xp rates or helps you kill things faster yeah i i think it's it's one of those things where you can talk as much as you want mm. regarding the spirit realm but in reality, when it really comes down to it, the bread and butter of that skill is about taking components and combining them together, like yeah. we discussed. It's... And I think I think that the Shadow Realm is like that kind of cool factor, like where, oh, cool stuff could be in here. Mm -hmm. It could realistically be meaningless because the actual skill bread and butter is combining these two elements. Yeah. And we already know how to do that. That's the actual skill. And then it's like, what does this other place have to offer us? Uh, and at that point, it's like, if that passes, Jagex could make it look really cool in there. Like, maybe mm -hmm. there's something, but it could equally be really good, but it could equally be not so good. Whereas I feel like sailing has more of more of potential for there to just be new, exciting things yeah. that actually, like, include things we already have. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I, I just think it's, I think it's a safer bet. Yeah. I think it's a safer bet. No, for sure. I, I'm with you. Mid Mad Cow's been gone for an hour and a half now. He's not even listening. Well, I mean, I agree with everything you guys say, bro. I just you guys are nailing uh, it on true. the head, man. Yeah. I just want to see some boats sail by while I'm fishing. That's all I want. Yeah. I'm well, why not camper. just fish? Why not fish off the back of your boat while you're doing it, and you catch that would be three, sick too. Three Imagine sharks per tick instead. Fishing with moving scenery. Oh, yeah. bro, <laughs> revamp the whole skill, dude. So here's what they should do. They should add taming as the new skill, and you can tame a bear that looks like a boat, like it's called a boat bear. And once you've tamed this, you can then sail into the spirit realm. Yeah, I think that's perfect. You know what? They should add that. That should be the perfect skill. Bro, they should add an island called the Isle of Souls. A hundred percent. I'm they down like for this. Game 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 they should they can add make... like a heavily botted minigame to that too. <laughs> yeah let's do it with about with about five mil gp per hour on average but like they could make yeah. it the isle of souls and it's like one of the hardest fucking islands like how about every island you kind of have like a favor rating obviously not like zaya please i beg but you have to do things to in like in order to fully like set It'd dock a, there and a so separate forth. collection log where it's they talked about this already actually in their pitch where instead oh, of a really? collection log it would be a diary or something like that like okay. a, a sailor's diary so it's like yes i found island x and on that island i've completed the mini quest i have chopped every single tree or i've you know harvested everything and it, like it checks it off as you go along you get a little yeah. bit of xp for like finishing each mini task on the island and my thought is like yeah that's just like there's people who like to complete RuneScape. They try and check off as many things as they can, whereas that's that panders to them completely. Whereas if you want the best XP rate, that might just be doing the extremely hard encounters on the open waters. So this is like mm -hmm. a separate way of training where you can do it just as like a completionist sake. But yeah, is that what uh, what you found there, Rice Cup? No, I was just going through it while you were, uh, you know. There you go. Okay, yeah, that's they talked about having a like a, a sailor's diary or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Where that's what that's exactly what it would be. Like each island has its own little collection sort of diary log thing. Um, yeah, I think it'd be very cool. 
Yeah, that'd be yeah. good. These, graf- these graphics God, I are love very, graphics, very good. Dude. Yeah, so he, so yeah, good. do a quick little... Yeah. God, man. I, to me, it just really depends, and I think we killed this, nailed it in the head with a hammer, <laughs> how it looks on the open ocean, Oops. how we interact with boats, and how we can drive them bad boys. Yeah. If we can lock that up in beta... Yeah, he's very very excited. Look, dude, they've what already they got dolphins allowed? in the picture for taming. Yeah. Yeah. I like that little canoe, well. bro. You see a little canoe? The fans just soloing. That's what's gonna happen. They had two day membership. You see a lot of those guys just rolling oh, no, around. No. Yeah, I'm just trying. Dude, to that's write. not a canoe, bro. That's like what a little. Is it? Fucking, it's not a canoe. That's you a mini sailboat for sure. I hope yeah, like level <laughs> one. If you can't afford a boat, they just give you a pile of logs and shit. And they just get like fifty percent chance to sink. Yeah. <laughs> just I think, you, I think they definitely they start the skill off where you go to go. a small place and there's a quest that teaches you how to sail. Oh man, this is and it's huge. like at the end of the quest you're now like level five Crap. and you can build like a mm. you know like an actual mini sailboat like the one you see on the left in that picture. Um, but yeah, okay. like to to start off, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty go. small. But yeah, I'm just doing just, this yeah. so so yeah, it's automatic. Top. <laughs> just tie a bunch of like wooden shields together you know captain yeah. jack sparrow that shit oh, yeah. oh wait the, the issue with that is uh, i mean they're gonna have to have like go. some kind of uh like ex- like escape raft of some sort yeah i imagine the higher level you get the better that can be and maybe you know if your ship sinks like there should definitely be like a negative to that like maybe yeah. it's time to get to an Insurance. island or or yeah. something, right? There should be a downside yeah. to fucking up for go. sure. And maybe if you have like a faster escape vessel, it's like it's not so bad. Who knows? So let's uh, say like the you... items wash on the shore. So you're like fishing, you see like a room plate body wash in. <laughs> so say you uh, you sail out to an island, right? And it's this cool island, it takes you twenty minutes. So it takes you like three minutes to get to the island. On the way, you have one encounter, it's and it's short, like a bro. small little encounter. You can choose to flee, or you can choose to like fight this, you know, swarm of seagulls or kraken boss, whatever. You get to the island, and on the island, you gather all the resources you can find on there. There's like a mini boss that you fight and get some items. You go back to your ship, you put everything in your ship storage, and then you sail back to the mainland. Once you're there, you have all the items, and you can take them out of storage and bring them to the bank. If I mean, if you're UAM, basically don't play. Um, <laughs> if if you die on the island, your ship's still there, and if you want to get there, you can either build another boat and go get it, or you can like pay an NPC to bring your ship home for like 300k or however expensive the ship is. Like the the bigger it is, the more expensive it is. Mm-hmm. You know, you can upgrade your hull. Say your hull holds 60 items, you can upgrade it to hold 100, but the boat is like one tick slower. Or something like that. Or your boat has less HP because it's heavier. Or it has, I don't know, maybe it's more HP. You know, like, it's got different um, things with the boat where you're really customizing it. Like, yeah, I'm going to go do this really hard, you know, encounter here. But I'm not going to bring a life raft. Because that will slow me down a little bit. And I'm just going to go without a life raft. And if I die, I die and I lose the boat. And that's it. Otherwise, if you have the life raft, it'll actually save you and, you know, you'll get your boat back or maybe your boat insurance or this or that. I think there's just so many possibilities for the actual how it works. Um, yeah. Sailing is definitely the braver option of the two. I think it's more, it's, it's far more adventurous, like when you really think about what they can do. I just can't go over the fact that it will finally expand the old school Inkscape map. The, the places that. that we've never been able to go to and mm-hmm. even see. Yeah, they can do just you want, do. Do you want the map to physically expand, or do you want it to kind of stay as a secret? So, I, it depends mm. on how they want to do. Think it. about it. There's yeah. there's already plenty of kind of like immersive lore or places that are obviously tied to sailing, right? Yeah, yeah? yeah. like Relica's got some you know fishing going on. There's the islands in between them. Um, you know, uh, you know, Port Sarum's got some, you know, got some jazz going on with the with the whole sailing. Temporos City's got that going on. Um, Brimhaven's got that going on. Rich Does Haven's Prifinus got that anything? going on. No, Priftinus. I mean, there's, a port port right there's char it. ships everywhere. It does. Right? But, it does have a port next to it. On the yeah, left but it's char ships though. But that's just char ships, right? So what I'm getting at is they could do a lot of domestic, you know, right? Like the trading aspects could be. Uh, the trading missions could be done all yeah. domestic between all of the current Gillenor seas, right? But of course, there's always the idea that like, what if you go further out, right? 
So then you can do more cool stuff like exploration uh, stuff, right? Outside. Because I'm sure all the seas within the domestic map has already been like fairly thoroughly, right? You just assume that because, you know, there's all these yeah. cities with tra uh, ships and trading going on. That probably is already explored. It's not that much there. But like, what if, what if you go outside? So well, maybe. Something, something they mentioned yeah. um, was, for example, when you do um, Dragon Slayer, it's, you know, Dragon Slayer 1, you're hyped up for this big thing. And then it's like, okay, we've got to do this big sail and we got to sail all the way over there. It's like 15 tiles away from Karamja. Yeah. So like, they wouldn't be able to make it so, oh, yeah, you can sail to Karandor because that's literally like 15 tiles. Yeah. So they were talking about what if when you, you, like, you end go up in, there. in your boat, they triple the size of the map and they move everything further away from each yeah, other. Yeah, that's what they that's should what they do. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense, you know? <laughs> like, do you move... Do you Like, you look at Entrana and Crandor, do you just move those super far to the right and the other ones are super... Like, it's, yeah, it's weird. That part's fine. weird. So when I picture sailing, I just picture it only interacting with the outsides of the map and not necessarily no, it, it what's currently it should there. Be, it should be also inside because... It should be. But because, they'll have to tackle that some way. Yeah, and I think it's just going to have to be through a sequence generation, right? Once you load in, it's like, that's the map that everyone is doing the thing is in. And that's fine, because yeah. then you can still see plenty of people, right? That way. Because I, I don't... I think... think it has to be done, or, or else... What's the point of sailing if all these sailing-related cities get zero interactions, you know? And, like, zero, like, uh, like interactions within the, the context of the existing game, right? Because it'd be cool I've... to get to see all that happening. You get to see the story behind all these cities, actually, like, why do they have those boats, right? Why is there, you know, these NPCs that fish and stuff, right? Like, there we go. It, you, can get, you can see it fully now. The maybe they just attention. have, like, yeah. uh, maybe they have, like, small boats can do inside of what we currently yeah, have. Yeah, domestic stuff. Right? Anything else is, like, it, you have to use a deep sea fishing boat or a deep sea yeah. boat. And those are the ones that you can go beyond what the currently ma the current map shows. Yeah. Anything yeah, else, exactly. you're only using like a two by two tiny little tugboat of some sort. You know, like. Yeah, uh, you would have different types of boats, right? Like you said, for different kind of occasions. You know, for sure. Like, like if you're gonna go like deep sea fishing or whatever, like you need some like badass boat for that. You know. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Well, I think what That'd would be, cool. be really cool. So we were talking about part of the XP coming from. Uh, adventuring and exploring like new places i think a big part of that should be mapping it out as well right yeah now, that's the mission part the exploration it all depends on how they would like to do it so maybe it would be once you go off the runescape map like it, it maybe it loads a brand new map and it's yeah. like you need to like find all of the places or Maybe like we spoke on the last podcast, it could be like randomly generated and it changes and like like it's new islands that pop up and so forth. In which case, it would probably have to be like an instance of some sort. So it, it's it's kind of hard to say, but I think I would quite like the idea of if you actually look at the RuneScape map, it's like it would would it not make sense for there to be like a North Sea, yep, a Southern sounds, Sea, yep. an East Sea, and a oh, West Sea? Are we gonna so get made got... the seas, bro? That's what yeah, I'm and then, yeah, and then dude. you've got mm. you've got four mm. different seas to explore. So you're talking sea. loads mm. of yes. content, yes. and then on top of that, like maybe you have to like tick off all of the islands in each of those seas, like mm. to get the the bigger picture of everything that's around what we know. Like Ooh. that would be cool. Yeah, so I definitely expect some new, actual new islands that are permanent, static, right? Uh, yeah. d d as an expansion, for sure, because, you know, it only makes sense. Because like, I feel like a big part of sailing would be that you're going to be one of the first people in the whole of the, you know, the world to expand, like, our, kind of like, our vision of the world, you know? That'd be a huge, cool part of it, you know? The domestic stuff's nice. The, the, those could be, like, kind of like the you know, the first 50 levels kind of deal. You're just kind of, like, getting the vibe. You're just, you know, learning how to trade, learning about how this all works in, in the actual RuneScape. And then you want to, like, expand upon it, you know? The whole mm. random generation stuff can go real crazy and, and unlocking the new stuff at, like, the higher levels, you know? Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be such a fully fleshed-out skill right there, you know? Super epic discovery, right? I love that. It's great. Oh yeah. So, mm. do you guys like the idea of the North, South, East, and West Sea? What What do you guys think of that? 
I like the idea. I don't like the names. I think if you put more RuneScape <laughs> okay, names, I like the graveyard for the wilderness part, you know. Yeah, Mediterranean. I mean, like, like what what yeah. could happen? Because I'm assuming yeah, I'm assuming that RuneScape <laughs> Gilinor is based on a globe. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it. I well, got a globe know, version. Like yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no. I mean, yeah. imagine RuneScape's if you put the flat. Together. What's a globe? Sorry. Well, this is the thing, bro. Mm -hmm. We gotta get into this, man. Earth like, we need flat. to figure this out. Well, okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe east, that's a west, part of it. everything, you know. But maybe like north and south, because the, the, I feel like the wilderness. There's more stuff up there, or like. If you go south, there's more oh, stuff down there. Oh, like the dark the sea, and the water is like super black. Yeah, and it's yeah. Spooky there you go. Because it's yeah. like, yeah, there's like the ghost dark ships sea. floating around, and, and, like and it's like ice, and... you know. And you go so far yeah. north, it's fucking icy, like it's North oh, Pole, yeah. you know. There you go. Right, so the last thing I'm gonna <laughs> say before we wrap <laughs> up, my last part on this, mm -hmm. if they are gonna add this, something I would love for them to add, we should take turns doing this. I said about the Isle of Souls, mm -hmm. I would love it. If there was an Isle of Souls, maybe you go to it from Port Fat Mattis. I don't know how you say that, but Bad to the nice. east, mm -hmm. the eastern Bad sea. Bad. We can we can call it like uh -huh. the Dead Sea or something yeah. like that. And the Dead Sea is awesome. That's copyrighted to, in IRL servers. <laughs> the Isle of Souls. It has the highest requirement to be able to like land your your boat, and then you can eventually, if you get into good favor with them, have like. A spirit boat or something built, and it's like the fastest vessel. But it's literally like it's like like an undead ship, something like that. I don't know, like that would be awesome. Yeah, I would like to see something like that. Definitely, I'd be down. I'd be down for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, sir. Right, I think uh, I think we've covered pretty much everything now. Is there anything else that you guys want to chip in on the end? Nah, here? that's it. I got nothing. I feel okay. like I've I'm gonna repeat enough. myself. I feel yeah. like I'll All repeat right. myself. So. I'm excited. Right. I'll tell you that. I'm just excited for where we're going. That's it. Yeah, it's all I promise. We're coming for the number one MMO, baby. It's are we over. Not? I swear we're like think. number one or something. I'm just kidding. Nah, it's probably like some <laughs> Korean game, but we're coming. Definitely, for it. definitely top three in terms of growing MMO. Easy. We're up there. I think it easily, is top three. easily, easily. Number one. Yeah. Number Boys and one. girls, yes. <laughs> thank you very much for watching the podcast, guys. If they've watched this far into the podcast, I'm guessing two hours. What should be the word of the day? They Tell like us the with word. skill. Greedenism, or whatever that word you were you were saying? Yeah, tameism. 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 Yeah, if you tameism tameism is the word, guys. Tameism. And also let us know which skill you like after listening to all of our biases. <laughs> Tell yeah, us. please. Listen, if you guys absolutely hate everything we've said, we're, I feel like we're very much all towards Pro sailing. sailing. Sales. We gotta hey, sail to a new skill. Let's go. Listen, it's it's completely okay to have a wrong opinion. Okay? <laughs> it's <laughs> okay to be wrong, man. Like, no, you know, your wrong opinions. I've never Seriously, been wrong, let us know. But... <laughs> if you disagree, please let us know and let us know why. I'll be reading the comments on this one and see yeah, what Yeah, just let say. us know which skill you prefer or rank it, you know, one, two, three, you know? Yeah. Or five, six. If there's like Even some random shit. homework, bro. Ain't no one gonna be doing all this homework, bro. All no, right? it's, it's not homework. Tight. It's just you know, share your passion, bro. Let us know. Give us the algorithm boost, they You know. <laughs> Hell yeah. But don't forget also, about the uh, community post too. If you want some uh, some scepters or bonds, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, don't forget to check out our fabulous, fabulous guest today, Mr. Flopple. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. He put it on. Link your Twitch, everything down below, he boys. Put it on, sure boys. Look at and him. literally ditched work he yeah. jeopardized Look his at him. future to be Look here so please go and check him out yeah Respect. link in the the youtube description thanks for having me guys i appreciate it very much i, yeah. like, I just like talking cyclops in the house people yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It'll this is the have final you, raids boss. I'm the yeah, final we, raids boss. For we sure. have the best <laughs> outros, boys. Just fucking solid. <laughs> just, just kill it, dude. Just, just end it. Okay. End it. All right. Peace out.